Everyone says they want to change the world. But not everyone will. We are not everyone. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. How do we solve our patients' hard-to-solve medical problems? Our doctors and specialists collaborate, sharing their vast knowledge and Mayo Clinic's unique expertise. It's this working together that helps solve our patients' hard-to-solve medical problems. Monument Health, proud member of the Mayo Clinic Care Network. Every home tells a story. Wherever you live, whatever your style, express yourself with Ashley Home Store. So many styles to help tell your story and create your unique dream home. Ashley Home Store, this is home. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. We think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high quality, locally sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American made. You got your hydraulic. This is Jason with Dakota Carpet Restoration. No job is too small or too big. Leaked water from frozen pipes, sump pump failures, or a flooded basement? We can help. If your house is underwater, no problem. Call us right away. Even if it's three in the morning, we'll take care of the water damage before mold sets in. Dakota Carpet Restoration, 481-8709. The clean you expect, the service you deserve.
Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholtauto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. The Gola Buffalo Casino at Lower Brule is proud of our area youth for their competitive spirit and participation in the various high school activities. It takes dedication and commitment to be the best you can be. It's all about sportsmanship and not whether you win or lose, but how you play the game. The Gola Buffalo Casino is your winning destination for great food and more ways to win. More often, our youth, our future. We at the Gola Buffalo Casino say thanks for all you do. When we think American-made, we think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high-quality, locally-sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American-made. If you're hunting for a great deal on your next ride, get into Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier. We're locked and loaded on all of our new and used inventory, like this 2018 Toyota Highlander, only $28,495. Looking for low price reliability? Try a 2011 Honda Accord for only $6,995. Who wants a loaded up truck? We have a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ for only $17,995. Get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier, 518 East Sioux Avenue. Call 605-224-7378 and visit Gateway F. LT.com. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. Harry K. Ford is your only dealer who does $29.95 oil changes every day. Yep, that includes all the oil for the vehicle. Those other guys don't do that. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips. Through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection, you can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholtauto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. 
At Ashley Home Store, when we say we got it, we really mean it. We've got all the popular styles for every room in your home, as well as some of the highest quality and customer ratings in the industry. Not to mention, we've also got the top mattress brands like Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Ashley Sleep, and payroll deduction financing available so you can take time to pay. So come in today and see why your Pierre Ashley Home Store is the top choice for everything home. Hurry in, we're located on South Garfield Avenue in Pierre. This is home. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Agtegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Agtegra agronomist for details or visit agtegra.com today. Harry K. Ford, your go-to dealer for transparency and the lowest prices. From sales to service, we pride ourselves on transparency and low prices. It's who we are every day. Family, friends, and Fords, in that order. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. Feel more confident and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways I can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top of the line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. Join the team and take on your legacy. Since 1862, the South Dakota Army National Guard has been ready to defend our freedom and our way of life. When our nation calls, we are there to help our friends, neighbors, and communities in the event of forest fires, floods, tornadoes, and severe winter storms right here in South Dakota. Now we want you to write the next chapter in our rich history of the South Dakota Army National Guard. Visit their Facebook and Instagram pages or nationalguard.com slash SD. Limestone canyons, flowing waterfalls, and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com. Calm now. At Monument Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, we are here to help you make your comeback. 
Our team is standing by to diagnose and treat your injury with some of the most advanced treatment options available and same-day appointments. Monument Health practitioners work closely with our therapists and physicians in communities throughout the Black Hills with locations in Rapid City and Spearfish. Visit monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. That's monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. You got your hydraulic cylinders replaced last week. Now save 8% on all funnels this week at Grossenberg Implement. Since you'll need to fill up your hydraulic oil, get that extra funnel that you can never find in your shop, garage, or shed. Don't wait. Save 8% this week at any one of their eight South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming Grossenberg locations. Grossenberg Implement, your family-owned John Deere dealer since 1937. This is Jason with Dakota Carpet Restoration. No job is too small or too big. Leaked water from frozen pipes, sump pump failures, or a flooded basement? We can help. If your house is underwater, no problem. Call us right away. Even if it's 3 in the morning, we'll take care of the water damage before mold sets in. Dakota Carpet Restoration, 481-8709. The clean you expect, the service you deserve. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholtauto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. The Gola Buffalo Casino at Lower Brule is proud of our area youth for their competitive spirit and participation in the various high school activities. It takes dedication and commitment to be the best you can be. It's all about sportsmanship and not whether you win or lose, but how you play the game. The Gola Buffalo Casino is your winning destination for great food and more ways to win. More often, our youth, our future. We at the Gola Buffalo Casino say thanks for all you do. When we think American-made, we think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high-quality, locally-sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American-made. If you're hunting for a great deal on your next ride, get into Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier. We're locked and loaded on all of our new and used inventory, like this 2018 Toyota Highlander, only $28,495. Looking for low price reliability? Try a 2011 Honda Accord for only $6,995. Who wants a loaded up truck? We have a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ for only $17,995. Get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier, 518 East Sioux Avenue. Call 605-224-7378 and visit Gateway F FLT.com. Alexandria has about four starting pitchers. They're they're blessed that way, but Schmidt, the left-hander, probably their ace, and they bring him out here in the quarterfinals against Flandreau. Of course, the semis. Win this, you're in the semis, and that'll be played on Saturday with the state championship game it's on Sunday. So state amateur season is winding down in a hurry here. Schmidt just tossed a wild pitch back to the screen. Amateur pitchers got to do that. Cadwell Park field looks still in excellent shape. Of course, they totally rework it between every game. And it's the field where 
normal home runs are caught. 340 down the lines, 374 to the power alleys, 420 feet to straightaway center. It is a big ballpark. I'd love to see them move the fences in 25 feet, but I bet you could never get Mitchell to do that because they love their big field. Cadwell Park and the crowd, oh my. Just an instant how big the crowd was the first game. 50-50 drawing was for 370 some dollars. So we've got a crowd on hand and we're ready to go. Here comes a good leadoff hitter, the catcher. Jake Patterson for the Flandreau Cardinals, 305 hitter from the right side. And he'll be facing the lefty, Jed Schmidt. Outfield playing deep in the corners. Zen's in center, playing shallow. At least it looks like he's shallow. The outfield is so big here. Patterson with a big night in the second round action. And there's a belt-high fastball, outer half of the plate. Strike one to Jake Patterson. Grant Heeb to foul, and then Keith Cutler here in the first. There's a fastball, misses away, and the count even one ball, one strike. Schmidt, I'd say he's a hard thrower. Fastball probably 85, 86 mile an hour range from the left-hander. There's a fastball low, two and one now to Jake Patterson game just underway. We haven't set the rhythm of the ball game yet. I look for a Chris game. Flanders going to need a good pitching job from their starter Drew Weber. Swing and a miss and a fastball in the inner half. And the count even now. Two balls, two strikes. There the scoreboard lights up. Patterson out of the box now back in. And line drive single right up the middle. Lead-off hit for the Flandreau Cardinals. Batting second for the Cardinals. The Cardinals. Flandreau beat Tabor 9-4 to four in the first round, assisted by five Tabor heirs. They then shut out Mount Vernon 11 to nothing in seven innings in the second round. Alexandria... Beat Canova in a pitching battle in the first round, 2 0, and then beat Volga 16 1 in the second round. Left handed batter Grant Heeb steps into the box, 316 hitter with his open stance. And Heeb takes a fastball, belt high inside corner. One strike on Grant Heeb. Grant, one of the Renner players that came to Flandreau this year. Nice infusion of talent for Flander. Fastball misses away. No, they call that outside corner. Be ready to swing the bats, boys. It's two strikes on Grant Heave with Cutler on deck. Jed Schmidt working from the stretch. Schmidt about, I don't know, six foot tall, 5'11", somewhere right there. And he flares a fly down the left field line. Peyton Smith, ranging over near the foul line, has that for out number one. Keith Culler steps to the plate, the veteran first baseman. Had a good season with the bat. 441 batting average for Keith Culler. And he has, I guess you'd call it occasional power. He can hit it out. Pretty much has to pull it, though, to do it. So Culler into the box. Patterson running for himself. Short lead at first base. And a fastball misses away. Ball one. Patterson will probably take a courtesy runner when we get the second out so he can go put the gear on. State tournament rules, postseason rules. The extra hitter goes away and you can only courtesy run for the catcher. Ground ball to second base. When Andy charges it, They'll take the out at first. And he throws it away. It goes to the first base dugout. And scampering to third base goes Jake Patterson on the air. That'll put runners on the corners. With one away, Flander with a threat here in the first inning. And Aiden Ladd, arguably the best player in the Corn Belt League, steps to the plate. Ladd, power hitting third baseman catcher. Today at third base, 362 batting average. And the right-hand batter 
steps into the box. He crowds the plate. Dares you to throw it inside on him. And Schmidt glares and now delivers. Fastball misses inside. Made the lad back up a little bit. Short lead at first base for Cutler. Patterson at third. Cutler at first. Runners at the corners. Flander not known particularly as a running team. Fastball misses inside. It's 2-0. Tim Huber on deck for the red-clad Cardinals. Didn't see a Flander bought a spectator bus again. They did second round. Yep, the bus is out there. Fastball right down the middle. And Ladd takes that for a strike. Two and one now. Big crowd on hand. Here's the two one delivery from Jed Schmidt. He sets up by the chin. Fastball in the inner half. Swing and a miss. And a run's going to score as the ball gets away from catcher Michael Schottmer. Thought maybe he got a piece of it, but he didn't. And we, Flandreau puts a run on the board. It's one nothing, Flandreau. Cutler moves to second on the pass ball. 2-2, two -two, the count to Aiden Ladd. Fastball in on his hands that Ladd couldn't find with a small part of the bat, but Michael Schottmer couldn't find it either, and it goes back to the screen. Flandreau scores first. I think runs are going to be hard to come by. That's important. Schmidt continuing in the stretch. Cutler takes the deep leg lead and then walks towards the pitcher. And here's the pitch. Ground ball fouled on the third baseline. Count will stay 2-2. Alexandria, it's just amazing to me. They've been in the state championship seven out of the last eight years, winning five of them. That's unheard of. That's Del Rapids PBR kind of numbers. So it's been done before in the past. Hot line shot to center field, and Zins is going to have to run. As it's going to roll all the way out to the center field fence, Ladd jogs into second base with a double, and Cutler will score Flanders' second run of the ball game. He got a lot of that one and put it over Zen's head in center field. So it is 2-0 Flander. Here's Tim Huber. Huber left-handed hitting, second baseman, 381 batting average on the year. Flandreau has high batting averages. Alexandria's batting averages are higher yet. We'll talk about them when they come up to bat, but most of them are over 400. Fastball misses away. Ball one to Huber. Brian McGuire on deck. Ladd with a big lead at second base. Shortstop Gao trying to sneak behind him to hold him closer. And Schmidt comes set. Here's the one ball pitch. Fastball paints that outside corner. One ball, one strike. Not an ounce of breeze here in Mitchell tonight. Ball field's going to play big. 1-1. One, one. The count. Here's the delivery. Breaking ball, and that catches the plate. Huber questions the call, but it's a strike. One and two. Huber out of the box, taking his time out of the box, now back in. That looked like a pretty good pitch. Huber questioned it. And Jed Schmidt delivers. Breaking ball. This one's outside, and it's two and two. Trying to get Huber to chase. So still a pitcher's count. Two balls, two strikes on Huber. Outfield playing deep for Huber. Chopper going to go to second base when Nandy comes up with it cleanly. Throws to first to get the out. 4-3 on the putout. Ladd advances to third on the play, and here's Brian McGuire. 
McGuire, the Flanders shortstop, 320 hitter from the left side. Flanders with a lot of left-handed hitters. No, don't know why that is, but most of the top amateur teams in the state have a lot of left-handed hitters. <laughs> kind of goes together. Breaking ball misses away. Ball one to Brian McGuire with Brett Sievertson on deck. Aiden Ladd, 30 feet away, but there's two outs, two runs in. Breaking ball, nice pitch. Breezes him and then drops across the plate. One ball, one strike. Tyson Gow, deep in right field. Now he sneaks in a little bit. There's a breaking ball in the dirt. Two and one to count. Nice stop, Schottmer. Final nights continue tomorrow night. Del Rapids Mudcats. There's a breaking ball, and that's a strike. Bell tie right. Ended up being a breaking ball right down the middle. But McGuire, looking fastball, takes that, and it's 2-2. Breaking ball, fouled off. Nice pitch from Jed Schmidt. Threw it right at him and had it break across the inner half of the plate. McGuire will fight that off to stay alive at two balls, two strikes. Can feel the intensity here right away in this first inning. These two teams are going to get after it. Crowds into it. Breaking ball. Oh my, nice pitch. And that'll end the inning as McGuire takes a breaking ball for strike three. But Flanders scores first. Two runs on one hit. Leave one man on. We'll be back with Alexandria up to bat in one minute. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. Harry K. Ford is your only dealer who does $29.95 oil changes every day. Yep, that includes all the oil for the vehicle. Those other guys don't do that. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. He'll be followed by Cole Winandy and then Michael Schottmer. Tyson Gow in the cleanup spot. Jordan Gow will bat fifth. Aaron Grunewig, the pickup player from Corsica Stickney, in the number six spot. Adam Durfee in seventh. Pierce Smith in the eighth spot. And center fielder Jared Zenz will bat ninth. Against the veteran right-hander, Flander brings out Drew Weber. Drew, two and two on the season, has some success historically against Alexandria. I'm sure that's what Flander's thinking. Let's throw somebody that's beat Alex before. That is Drew Weber. Drew's been, has had good health this season, I guess. Let's put it that way. He feels good. And there's a fastball that misses inside. Ball one. Peyton Smith, 480 batting average for the leadoff man here. The left fielder, right-handed hitter. And there's a fastball inside corner at the knees. And it's 1-1. Look for Weber to keep continue to work inside here trying to take away Alexandria's power here's the 1-1 delivery and there's a, a breaking ball that misses low and it's 2-1 and one. when Andy on deck followed by Schottmer here in the first Flandreau scored first 2-0 Flandreau grabbed the lead Weber with a breaking ball swing and a miss and that'll go through Jake Patterson's wickets and roll back towards the screen. 
two, two, the count. Must be nice to be an amateur team that has pitching choices when you get to this time of the tournament. Both teams had choices. There's a breaking ball. Good take as the curveball just missed. And the count goes full. Three balls, two strikes to the leadoff man, Peyton Smith. Weber working from the windup. The big right-hander winds and delivers. There's a breaking ball chop foul down the third baseline. Big crowd here tonight, and a big crowd standing behind the dugout. It's kind of a fun place to watch games back there. Use the dugout for a table, and then you could kind of be part of the action. You might hear bad things back there, though. There's a fastball low, and the leadoff man draws a walk as Smith, who runs well, goes down to first base. Second baseman Cole Wanandi will bat from the right hand side. 333 batting average this season for Winandi. We'll see if they ask him to bunt. Will Alexandria play small ball here in the first inning? And move Peyton Smith over to second base. We'll find out. Here's the pitch. And it's a breaking ball. It misses away. Ball one. Showed no indication of turning to bunt on that. So he'll probably be swinging away. Schottmer on deck for the Angels. Wow, nice pitch. Didn't get the call. Weber, a little disgusted. 2-0. and oh, Breaking ball. It looked, looked good from here. Must have just missed. 2-0 and oh delivery. Fastball low, and it's 3-0. and oh. oh, there's the strike call. Oh, Got to slow down. Get on the umpire's pace. Two balls and a strike. Weber working from the stretch. Breaking ball lifted high in the air behind second base. On the edge of the grass. And it's going to be a clunk as Sievertson and Uber come together and they get the runner at second who was trapped in no man's land. Smith didn't know whether to go. He thought it should have been caught. So, four, six. Smith is retired. Uber had it all the way and then Sievertson... Came running in from right field. Those two collided, and the ball went off Uber's glove to the ground, and Smith got trapped in no man's land. He's out at second base, one away, and the batter will be Michael Schottmer, the catcher. And he'll take a breaking ball for a strike to start this at bat. Schottmer, right-handed batter, 368 average. Schottmer with good power. Weber sets up by the chin, now delivers. Runner goes, snap throw from Patterson, and that's going to skip into center field, but Demers is there to back that up. Stolen base for Winandi. He and the ball got there at the same time, and the ball just continued through. And Demers cleans that up. Runner at second now with one out. Two strikes on the batter, Schottmer. He's going to have to protect the plate. Weber comes set, now delivers. Big sidearm breaking ball. That's high. One ball, two strikes. We've seen it a lot in this tournament. Pitchers will get ahead in the count and then throw too good a pitch. <laughs> Weber won't do that. He'll waste a bunch here. Fastball inside. Ripped down the left field line and into the bullpen. Foul. One ball, two strikes. I turn my desk lamp on here so I can actually see things. Outfield playing pretty deep for Schottmer. And Demers just slightly playing in a pull. There's a fastball misses away to even the count. Two balls, two strikes. We'll set the jam and country defense for Flandreau. Let's set it right now. Bo Sievertson in left, Demers in center. Brett Sievertson in right, Ladd at third, McGuire at short. Uber at second base, Cutler at first, Patterson behind the plate, and Weber throws a strike that's going to be fouled out of play over the first base dugout. And a youngster's going to have a choice. Do I turn the ball in and take $2, or do I keep my Dale Weber autographed baseball? I'd keep the baseball. I know I would. But then I'm kind of weird that way. 2-2, two, two, let's do it again. And a breaking ball misses inside, and the count goes full. 
One away here. When Andy, the runner at second, when Andy runs really well. In other words, he's fast at second base. The Gow brothers on deck and waiting behind that. Breaking ball hit into the air to Demers in center. Demers has to charge, and he's got it and comes up ready to throw, and that'll drive when Andy back to second. So two away. And it's the Gows. Tyson Gow first, 267 batting average this year. I think the Gows, their averages are down a little bit this year. I would guess, just a wild guess here, but I would guess they've been a little more concerned about power than average, probably. So here's Tyson Gow, the right fielder. When Andy, the base runner at second. There's a breaking ball. It misses away. Ball one. On deck, bo brother Jordan Gow. Weber, high fastball is going to be fouled back out of play. One ball, one strike. And somehow or other, Patterson lost his helmet and his face mask. Must have got Tyson Gow's backswing. Must have got him. One and one. Patterson looks fine. You can't hurt a catcher. There's a fastball high. Two and one. Two away here, bottom of the first, two nothing. Flandreau grabs the early lead. Here's a two one pitch to Gao, and that's going to be hit him in the hands. He'll go down the first base, hit by pitch. Weber trying to work him inside, take away that power, and he got a piece of him. Here's Jordan Gao, the shortstop. Jordan, this is a low batting average for Jordan Gao, 245 this year. Right hand hitter, good power. And Weber starts him with a breaking ball that just misses him inside. Ball one. And second baseman Huber wants to come in and talk to Weber, and that'll bring Patterson out from behind the plate. And the Cardinals having a quick meeting with their veteran, right hand pitcher Drew Weber. Flander, I would guess they're hoping to get at least four innings out of Drew Weber, maybe. You know, if he starts to get into trouble, they've got relievers, but Drew Weber with the start, and he's had some success. Breaking ball, misses away. No, that catches the corner. One ball, one strike. Weber being... Real careful not to throw anything over the middle of the plate. There he gets one over the middle. It's going to be a ground ball to Ladd. Ladd will take the force at second base, and that will end the inning as they eliminate Tyson Gow. 5-4 over there. 2-0. Flandreau leads after one. Flandreau will be Sievertson, Demers and Sievertson when we come back in one minute. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. At Ashley Home Store, when we say we got it, we really mean it. We've got all the popular styles for every room in your home, as well as some of the highest quality and customer ratings in the industry. Not to mention, we've also got the top mattress brands like Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Ashley Sleep, and payroll deduction financing available so you can take time to pay. So come in today and see why your Pierre Ashley Home Store is the top choice for everything home. Hurry in. We're located on South Garfield Avenue in Pier. This is home. Right now is a great time to be planning for the Lefty Jed Schmidt. Brett Sievertson to lead off. 
296 batting average, and there's a fastball in her half. Thigh high, strike one. Severson playing right field tonight. And a chopper up the middle. That's going to get past the pitcher. Jordan Gow comes up throwing. And Severson's retired, 6-3 for out number one. Eight for the Drew Demers from the Gamecocks, wearing the Gamecocks powder blue tonight with white pants. Demers playing center field for the Cardinals. 378 batting average for Demers. And he runs really well. So a pretty tough hitter down here in the eighth spot for the Cardinals. And Schmidt starts him with a fastball in the inner half. Strike one taken. Bo Sievertson on deck. Fastball in under the hands. That's too far inside. One ball, one strike. Schmidt wants to work really quick. Now delivers. Fastball misses inside. Makes him move his feet. Now it's two and one. Schmidt will go for a little walk now. He felt himself rushing. He's going to slow himself down. Veteran pitcher. Peyton Smith playing really deep out at left. And there's a ground ball to shortstop. Gow up with it. High arcing throw over to first, and they get Demers by a step for out number two. Bo Sievertson comes to the plate. Bo has a unique look here in the postseason. He's got a white helmet with a face mask on it. Took a foul ball off the plate that came back up and got him in the face in a game this year, so protecting himself with a face mask. Sievertson batted 275 this season. And he looks at a fastball high and away, ball one. Sievertson plays center field a lot for Flandreau and left. He's in left tonight. Swing and a miss at a belt high fastball. Schmidt throws it by him. One ball, one strike. On deck here with two out, top of the order, Jake Patterson. So the catcher's got his shin guards on yet in the on-deck circle. Breaking ball, swing and a miss. Made Bo Sievertson go after a pitch out of the strike zone. One and two. Sievertson's going to slow action down here a little bit as he adjusts his gloves. Now gets back in the box. Here's the one-two delivery, breaking ball. Fought off a tough pitch, fouls that back to the screen. And it'll stay one and two. Yes, Al still getting balls from behind there. He is chipper. I talked to him earlier tonight. He's chipper. Here's the one-two pitch. Fastball. Paints the inside corner. Gets a call. Third strike. And Bo Sievertson's retired for out number three. Three up, three down for Flander in the second. But they lead 2-0. We'll be back in one minute. For the next growing season, fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Agtegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Agtegra agronomist for details or visit agtegra.com today. Harry K. Ford, your go-to dealer for transparency and the lowest prices. From sales to service, we pride ourselves on transparency and low prices. It's who we are every day. Family, friends, and Fords, in that order. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. Feel more confident and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings.
Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways I can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. Mine's and delivers. Swing and a miss. Change up. Got grown away out in front on that one. Two and one now the count. Weber will change speeds, has a nice breaking ball. Swing and a miss at a breaking ball, and it's two and two. Boy, I tell you what, 10 years ago, Drew Weber was a horse. Leg injuries have slowed him down, but he looks pretty good tonight. And there's a breaking ball, it just misses inside, and the count goes full. So an action pitch coming up here to lead off Aaron Gronewag in the second. Chopper. Two-third, Ladd kind of takes the skip and a throw over to Cutler. And Gronowig's retired out number one. Aiden Ladd kind of anticipated, at, it hit on the edge of the grass and the dirt and it took a weird skip and Ladd anticipated that and was right there for it for out number one. Adam Durfee, the batter, 382 batting average for Durfee. Probably the newest Angel player. Takes a fastball inside, ball one. Article in the Mitchell paper about Durfee coming from Minnesota and how much fun he's having playing South Dakota amateur baseball. Of course, he's a good player. The rich get richer. Good guys come to Alexandria, right? Weber working from the windup, delivers 1-1 one, one the count, breaking ball, nice pitch. Oh my, froze him and then it the big curveball breaks across the plate. One ball, two strikes. And here's the delivery. Fastball, that's going to miss away. Two balls, two strikes. Ball gets away from Patterson. Give Al something to do. 2-2 two, two the count. They wait for Al to get out of the way. Al is the umpire's personal attendant, I guess is what you call him. Breaking ball, going to be laced to center field. And it'll bounce in front of Demers for a, a one-out single for Adam Durfee. Weber had to catch too much of the plate on that one with a 2-2 count. And Durfee put it out in center field. Durfee runs well. He's at first base. Pierce Smith the batter. Pierce Smith, right-handed hitter. He has a gaudy bit batting average. 455 hitter. He looks down at Third base coach gets the signals. Jordan Zins, or Jared Zins on deck. Weber delivers a breaking ball that misses away. Ball one. <laughs> Gotta wait for the umpire here. Another one is umpires, the ones that are verbal, they 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 verbally call the pitch. There's a fastball right down the middle taken for strike one. One ball, one strike. But they verbally call the pitch and then go, oh yeah, i got to move my arm. Well, that doesn't help us radio announcers much. Here's the 1-1 pitch. That's in the dirt. Nice stop by Patterson. And it's 2-1. and one. Weber waiting. Smith put a foot out of the box. Now back in. There's a breaking ball. Taken 3-1 and one to count as it misses away. Drew Weber, he's trying to work the corners. He doesn't want anything over the middle of that plate. And there's a pitch in the dirt, and he'll walk him. That'll put two men on with one out here in the second. And the number nine hitter, Jared Zenz. Center field, left-handed batter, 275 batting average. Batting ninth for the Angels, the center fielder, number 12, Jared Zenz. And a courtesy runner. No. Oh, bullpen action. Told you he'd be in a short lease. I'm getting some help here announcing. That's all good. This guy sitting next to me probably knows more baseball than I do anyhow. And there's a belt high fastball, and I think it was a strike. I don't know. This. There it is. Zins takes that for strike one. Chopper to first base. That'll be fielded by Cutler. He wants the out at second, though. And no return throw. That'll put runners at the corners as they eliminate Pierce Smith, 
six on that. Durfee goes to third. And Zenz is on first with a fielder's choice. Was thinking they'd have Weber on a short leash here. And already warm-up action going on in the Flandreau bullpen. I had kind of envisioned maybe up to four Flandreau pitchers tonight. We'll see. Top of the order, Peyton Smith will be the batter with his 480 batting average. He walked and was retired at second base his first time up. Two away here in the bottom of the second inning. Flandreau trying to protect their 2-0 lead. Smith, right-handed hitter. And first pitch swinging, and it's going to be a double hit as it bounced off the ground and then hit the bat again. Off-speed pitch. And Smith just couldn't wait long enough for it. Fouled it off and then hit it again. I was going to say it's a dangerous part of the Angels order, but the whole order is dangerous. So that doesn't... Any pitcher pitching against Alexander has got their work cut out for him. The fastball misses away. One ball, one strike. Nothing. Flander with the lead. Early in this ball game. Breaking ball. Nice pitch. Freezes him and then drops across. One ball, two strikes. Now a pitcher's count for Drew Weber with two away here in the second. No harm done yet. Got to get Peyton Smith. Fastball just misses away. Two and two now the count. Got a feeling Weber's going to have a lot of high pitch counts here. A lot of two twos, three twos. And he's going to plunk him in the buttocks as he hits him in the back. That'll load the bases. Kind of a bummer there when you're up one ball, two strikes, then hit him. But it is what it is. That'll load the bases for Cole Winandy. Winandy, the second baseman, reached on an air. In the first inning, stole second base, ended up stranded there at second. When Andy, right-handed hitter, and I, he is a clutch hitter. Kind of a bad man to have up in this situation. 333 batting average, but he puts the ball in play. Fastball. Inside corner, right at hand level, and it gets called a strike. Catcher Schottmer on deck. He's got one shit guard on. He's... Halfway confident. Breaking ball hit high in the air to shortstop. McGuire trying to find it. Now he sees it and catches it for out number three. So Drew Weber works his way out of a bases loaded jam. Flandreau continues to lead 2-0. It'll be the top of the order for Flandreau when we come back after these commercial messages. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholeAuto.com. Menhol Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. Join the team and take on your legacy. Since 1862, the South Dakota Army National Guard has been ready to defend our freedom and our way of life. When our nation calls, we are there to help our friends, neighbors, and communities in the event of forest fires, floods, tornadoes, and severe winter storms right here in South Dakota. Now we want you to write the next chapter in our rich history of the South Dakota Army National Guard. Visit their Facebook and Instagram pages or nationalguard.com sd. Jake Patterson led off the ball game with a single. Came around and scored. 
As Flanders scored two runs in the first inning. Two runs on one hit in that first inning. And Alexandria air. So Patterson against lefty Jed Schmidt. Breaking ball, nice pitch, strike one. Patterson taken all the way. Heave on deck. 2-0. How do you beat Alexandria? Well, you score more runs than them, obviously. And there's another breaking ball, strike two. I think you want to score them runs early and then hang on. 2-0. Flander leads. Two strikes on Jake Patterson. Breaking ball. Got a piece of it. And that's hung on to by the catcher, Schottmer. And Patterson strikes out to start the third inning. Grant Hebe, the designated hitter, flew out to left field his first time up. Grant with a 316 batting average for Flander from the left side. And Hebe into the batter's box. Open stance. He'll step at the pitcher and another breaking ball strike. Jed Schmidt throwing slider, 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 and keeps throwing strikes. Here's the one strike pitch, another breaking ball. It's going to be lifted into left field. Peyton Smith kind of goes on a circular route there and finally finds the ball for out number two. So Heeb has flown out to left field twice tonight. Keith Cutler will be the batter. Cutler reached on an air in the first inning. He scored the Flandreau second run of the ball game. Cutler, left-handed batter. The old, the Top batting average for Flandreau this season, 441 average. And he looks at a slider, strike one. That one painted the outside corner. Schmidt works rapidly. And this is going to be laced into the gap in right center field. And that's going to fall. And Cutler will be held for a single. Good hustle by Tyson Gow to run that ball down. But a two out single by Keith Cutler. Brings up Aiden Ladd, the third baseman. As he, change my book here, Ladd had a double first time up. I just had a blank for him. He had an RBI double in the first inning. The right-handed hitting third baseman. Goes up first pitch and rips it down the left field line, but well foul. Ladd, 362 batting average on the season. Tim Hubert, the veteran second baseman on deck. So one strike on Aiden Ladd. Jed Schmidt working from the stretch now. Looks at Cutler, the runner. And it's going to be a ground ball to shortstop. Jordan Gow, he'll t go the short way to second and end the inning. 2 nothing. Flandreau leads. Alexandria up next here on KJAF. Limestone canyons, flowing waterfalls, and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com. Calm now. At Monument Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, we are here to help you make your comeback. Our team is standing by to diagnose and treat your injury with some of the most advanced treatment options available and same-day appointments. Monument Health practitioners work closely with our therapists and physicians in communities throughout the Black Hills with locations in Rapid City and Spearfish. Visit monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. That's monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. Bottom of the third inning, the Angels will send up the heart of their batting order. It'll be the catcher Schottmer and then the Gow brothers. Here in the third to face Drew Weber. 2-0, Landrew scored two in the first and they're hanging on to that lead. Drew Weber's only allowed one hit in two innings and has walked two, hit a batter but has kept Alexandria off the scoreboard. 
Michael Schopmer, the catcher, 368 batting average from the right side. Flew out to center field his first time up. So 0 for 1 on the ninth. Schottmer in the box. And Weber with the full windup. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball hit high in the air. Foul territory by third base. Long run for everybody. Patterson's going to slide and no one can get there. Umpire, both umpires running right with him to make sure that nothing interfered with him as it was right in front of the third base dugout. Major League Baseball, you'll see bats and the, weight, the weighted rings will be all laying there. Here in amateur ball, pretty much it's clean slate out there. As long as Al doesn't get in the way, it's all good. One strike on Schottmer. Tyson Gow, Jordan Gow to follow. Drew Weber, the right-hander, delivers. Curveball misses outside. One ball, one strike. Schottmer out of the box, now back in. Weber patiently waiting on the mound. And the wind-up in the pitch. Off-speed pitch, going to be rolled out to shortstop. McGuire up with it, takes a skip. Throws in the dirt. Cutler with the scoop. But Schottmer runs well for a catcher and beats that out. So an infield single for Michael Schottmer. McGuire maybe put one too many skips in, and now we got a little brouhaha down at first base as Flandreau wishes they could see the replay. Well, we're simulcasting a live ticket TV so we can see the replay, and I'll be honest with you. I think he was, my first impression is that, well, he was out. Now they're checking the replay here. The umpires are right, of course. He's safe. He's there with a leadoff single. Now I haven't got word from the official replay guy. He was safe. All right, umpire got it right. First pitch is off-speed pitch. Yanked foul out of play by Tyson Gao. Gao was hit by a pitch his first time up. 267 batting average for the right-handed power hitting right fielder. Another fastball yanked foul. Two quick strikes on Tyson Gow. Now we'll see how much Drew Weber is going to nibble away here against Tyson Gow. I don't think he'll challenge him. He's going to try to get him. It's a pitcher's count and Weber will try to get him to go after the pitch that Drew Weber wants him to go after. Jordan Gow on deck. Here's the two strike delivery and it's a fastball low. One ball, two strikes. Don't be surprised if this ends up in a full count here yet. Drew Weber's not gonna challenge Tyson Gow. Fastball in that dirt. Nice block by Patterson and it's two and two. Now he might challenge him a little bit closer here with a two two count. Lead off man, Schottmer at First, I think he's running for himself. Here's the 2-2 delivery. Breaking ball. Fouled back into the screen. They'll stay at 2-2. Two two. Catchers can use a courtesy runner, but you'll see a lot of catchers running. Catchers, they're good athletes. Why not run? Unless there's two outs. Breaking ball misses inside. And the count goes full. Three balls, two strikes to Tyson Gow with nobody out and a man on first. Flandreau leads 2-0. Outfield playing deep for Gow. And there's a breaking ball. And that hits him in the hand. Hit by pitch again for the second time in the ball game. And Schottmer will go to second. So two men on, nobody out. And that's got me looking down to the bullpen. No action there right now. And Jordan Gow will be the batter. Gow hit into a fielder's choice to end the first inning. So 0 for 1 in the ball game. 2-0. Flandreau leads. Alexander with a threat here in the third. Weber delivers. And they ask Jordan Gow to bunt. And he messes the bunt attempt up. Fouls it off. Strike one. So they asked a big power hitter to bunt here. Play small ball. See if Matt 
if Wilbur asks him to do it again, third base coach. One strike. Infield in at the corners. They expect the bunt. He squares the bunt again. The ball's going to get away from Patterson. And the bunt doesn't matter anymore. The both runners move up on the wild pitch. Pitch way outside. Patterson didn't have a chance. And it goes back to the screen. And that puts runners at second and third. One ball, one strike. The count to the batter, Jordan Gow. Gronoweg on deck for Alexandria. 2-0. Flandre leads, but Alex with two runners in scoring position with nobody out here in the third. And there's a breaking ball yanked into the left-hand batter's box. Weber's mechanics falling apart a little bit on that pitch. 2-1. and one. Nice stop by Jake Patterson. So two balls and a strike, and now... Brett Sievertson, who does a lot of thinking for the Flander teams, coming in from right field. And I wonder if Drew Weber's night might not be done in the middle of this at bat. He saw him yank that pitch into the batter's box like he's trying to aim it there. And Drew Weber heads to the dugout. We're going to have a pitching change. We'll be back to see who's in for Flandro and the defensive changes in one minute. You got your hydraulic cylinders replaced last week. Now save 8% on all funnels this week at Grossenberg Implement. Since you'll need to fill up your hydraulic oil, get that extra funnel that you can never find in your shop, garage, or shed. Don't wait. Save 8% this week at any one of their eight South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming Grossenberg locations. Grossenberg Implement, your family-owned John Deere dealer since 1937. This is Jason with Dakota Carpet Restoration. No job is too small or too big. Leaked water from frozen pipes, sump pump failures, or a flooded basement? We can help. If your house is underwater, no problem. Call us right away. Even if it's 3 in the morning, we'll take care of the water damage before mold sets in. Dakota Carpet Restoration, 481-8709. The clean you expect, the service you deserve. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Michael Schottmer, the runner at third. Tyson Gow at second. Two men in scoring position. And here we go. Jordan Gow with a count of two balls, one strike. Zach Wynock into the ball game for the Flandreau Cardinals. And he walks behind the mound and gets himself all tucked in. Does finishes his stretching. And here he don't see this very often, a relief pitcher coming in in the middle of an at-bat, but 2-1 the count that Zach Wynott's going to inherit. Here's the pitch. Fastball going to be ripped. One hop, two third. Now they got the runner and a rundown at third base. And Patterson's going to chase him back to the bag, and now he's tagged finally by, I believe, McGuire. Finally puts the tag on Michael Schottmer. Schottmer kept the rundown going long enough so the two base runners could both move up. So let's go five, two, six. I'll call it that for out number one. So they got the lead runner. But now the Gows, Tyson's on third, Jordan's on second. As he reaches on a fielder's choice and the rundown lets him keep running. One away. Here's Aaron Gronoweg. And there's a fastball high, ball one. Gronowig chopped one to third base his first time up. Corsica Stickney player, 343 batting average. And there's a chopper, going to go to shortstop. McGuire throws over to first. Cutler with the stretch. Go-go gadget leg, keeps his leg on the bag. But an RBI on the ground out as Tyson Gow will score from third. Jordan Gow advances to third. 6-3. Gronowig's retired. Two away now. Still that runner on third base. Jordan Gow 
and third. And here's Adam Durfee, the third baseman. He's single. First time up, right-handed hitter. Why not? From the stretch, big lollipop curveball misses away. Ball one. Durfee, 352, 382 batting average on the season. Zach Wynott delivers. Off-speed pitch, misses away. No, <laughs> it's called strike. Come on, umpire. One ball, one strike. Two away, one run in. 2-1, Flanders still holds the lead. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Swing and a miss. Gets him to chase a breaking ball off the plate. Now the count one and two. I misspoke last time. One ball, two strikes. And Durfee <laughs> gets out of the box. Says, what was that? I didn't even see it, let alone get near hitting it. One ball, two strikes. Fastball hit into the air to center field. Demers is making a hard run, and it goes off his glove. He got to it, and then it went clank. So Jordan Gow scores. We're tied up. And Jordan Demers in center had a long run. And it's hard. When the, it's hit right at him, you got to judge it first. And I still don't see a hit air. It's got to be an air. It went clank off his glove. Second Flandreau error in the ball game. Pierce Smith the batter. Pierce walked first time up. 455 batting average for Smith. Swing and a miss at a fastball in the inner half from Zach Wynott. So we're tied up at two. Flandreau scored two in the first. Alexander is answered with two here in the third. Two outs. Pierce Smith the batter. Runner at first base. Swing and a miss at a breaking ball, and it's 0-2 to Pierce Smith with Jared Zenz on deck. Why not? Working from the stretch, short lead at first base for Durfee. Durfee goes, pitches high, and the throw from Patterson is there in time, and he's safe. Throw is there. A hard slide got him past the tag. So Durfee with a stolen base. Patterson, nice throw. One and two the count. Now my live ticket TV guys, they're over here. They're not even checking that one, are they? No. I think the slide got past the tag. Here's the one-two delivery. Swing and a miss at a big slow curveball. Smith is retired in the inning. But the Angels score two runs on one hit. And they leave one man on. We're tied up after three innings. We'll be back in one minute. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at MenholtAuto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. The Gola Buffalo Casino at Lower Brule is proud of our area youth for their competitive spirit and participation in the various high school activities. It takes dedication and commitment to be the best you can be. It's all about sportsmanship and not whether you win or lose, but how you play the game. The Gola Buffalo Casino is your winning destination for great food and more ways to win. More often, our youth, our future. We at the Gola Buffalo Casino say thanks for all you do. When we think American-made, we think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high-quality, locally-sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American-made. Batting average for Hubert. 
He was the manager of that over 38 team last year in Renner that disbanded. Longtime baseball player, good player. And Huber takes a fastball right down the middle, belt high, strike one. Huber, line drive, slashing type of power. Fastball low, count even now, one ball, one strike. Right fielder Tyson Gao playing deep, pretty deep in center for Zenz. How do I know? They're standing behind the marks where the other outfielders usually stand. Fastball misses away. Two and one. Schmidt trying to be careful here with Huber. Kind of, he tried to guide that pitch and just guided it outside. Here's the two one delivery. That's a fastball at the knees. Yes, strike called. Two two the count. Fastball outside corner. The dark pitch from Jed Schmidt. Schmidt's in command now. Two two and a breaking ball going to be hit. Bad hop to first. Pierce Smith stays with it, though, and he'll take it himself for out number one. Boy, that ball came up in a hurry, but Smith, nice job handling that. One away, Brian McGuire will be the batter, the shortstop for the Cardinals. Another left-handed hitter. Struck out looking to end the first inning. Brian with a 320 average on the season. Lefty against lefty here. Schmidt delivers. He drops down sidearm. Throws a fastball right down the middle. Thigh high. Strike one. Brett Sievertson. The adventurous Brett Sievertson on deck. Breaking ball. Broken. Bat. Bat just shattered. And ground ball to second base. And when Nandy throws him out. Don't see many of those bats break. Saw one in the first game. And now this, this bat just disintegrated. Two away, and Brett Sievertson will be the batter. Sievertson ground out to shortstop. His first time up to start the second inning. Brett just short of 300 this year, 296 average. Brett's pretty unselfish as a manager. There's lots of games he doesn't play. He likes to watch other people play. Fastball swing and a miss, and Sievertson lead on that one. Brett played college ball at Augustana. Flandreau has an Augustana flavor to them. Swing and an awkward swing and a miss for strike two. And Sievertson's in trouble this at bat, down 0-2 to Jed Schmidt. Just doesn't look comfortable in there. Here's the 0-2 delivery. Breaking ball misses inside. And it's 1-2. and two. Outfield playing Sievertson to pull. Peyton Smith deep and left. Sievertson does have power. Swing and a miss. Breaking ball in on his hands. And Sievertson's retired. Three up, three down for Flandreau in the fourth. We're tied up 2-2. Two, two. You're listening to State Tournament Action on KJM. If you're hunting for a great deal on your next ride, get into Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier. We're locked and loaded on all of our new and used inventory, like this 2018 Toyota Highlander, only $28,495. Looking for low price reliability? Try a 2011 Honda Accord for only $6,995. Who wants a loaded up truck? We have a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ for only $17,995. Get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier, 518 East Sioux Avenue. Call 605-224-7378 and visit Gateway F. LT.com. We hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school. Tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created, filmed, and produced by the students you love to follow and support. Become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor. It's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community. As a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. Right-hander Zach Wynott finishing his warm-up tosses. Drew Weber started for Flandreau. They got two innings plus two batters out of Drew Weber. Wynott came in in relief in the third inning. Came in in the middle of it at bat. So we're all tied up at two. It'll be the number nine hitter and then the top of the order for Alexandria in the fourth. Here's Jared Zenz. 
Zenz reached on a fielder's choice, and he looks at a fastball. Thigh high down the middle, strike one. Zenz, the Alexandria center fielder, left-handed batter, 275 batting average. And he squares the bunt, pushes it down the third baseline. Ladd with a scoop and the throw, and he gets him. Nice play, Aiden Ladd. <coughs> Zenz runs really well out of that left-hand batter's box. And Ladd charged that hard. <clears throat> kind of surprised he didn't pick it up with a bare hand. He scooped it with a glove and still had time to get him. Peyton Smith will start the third time through the batting order for Alexandria. Smith's been on base both times tonight, the leadoff man. First on a walk, then took one for the team and got hit by a pitch in the second. 480 batting average hasn't had have to use that 480 batting average. <laughs> There's a breaking ball and he almost had to become invisible as it was thrown right at him and then slightly broke and missed it. Ball one. He almost took another one in the back. Why not? With a fastball, and that's going to be chopped foul past third base. One ball, one strike. Why not? Pitcher number two. I'm not going to be surprised if we don't see at least four Flandreau pitchers tonight. We'll see how it goes. Here's the 1-1 one -one delivery from Zach Wynott. The right-hander delivers. Curveball, it's going to be laced into left field, and that'll be a one-out single for Peyton Smith. As he pulls into first base, he runs well, and then he's at first now. Cole Winandy will be the batter. Winandy 0 for 2, popped up to the shortstop last time up, did reach on an air and had a stolen base in the first inning. When Andy, right-handed batter, stands right in the middle of the batter's box. Why not? From the stretch, delivers. Fastball. Catches the outside corner, belt high, strike one. How hard does Why Not throw? I would guess his fastball is 78, 79. Slow, pretty slow for an amateur pitcher. Throw over to first base, Peyton Smith back. But what's why not do? He throws strikes and tries not to throw right down the middle. There's a fastball in the outer half, lifted in the air to right field. Sievertson comes running in and has it for out number two. Two away, Michael Schottmer. Schottmer. I have him for one for two, but if I if I had my I've got three hits for Alexandria, so evidently one of my hits wasn't ruled a hit. So 0 for 2, Michael Schopmer, 368 batting average. Why not? Throws over to first base. Smith back easily. Short lead at first. Why not? Just throwing over there for the heck of it, I guess. <laughs> and he steps off the rubber again. I don't know if Jake Patterson, the catcher, is pointing for him to go over. A lot of time the catchers will signal for the pitcher to throw over. I would doubt if he's doing that, though. Here's the first pitch, and it's a breaking ball and a beauty. And doesn't get the call. Uh, high? I don't know. I don't always agree with the umpires, but they're always right, so... Fastball ripped down the third baseline and fair by about three feet. That gets into the corner. Bo Sievertson hustles, but he's not going to be able to keep them from going to second and third. So a double for Schottmer down the line. Peyton Smith pulls into third base, and Alexandria threatening again here in the fourth. And they bring up their cleanup hitter, Tyson Gao. Gao has been hit by a pitch. Both times tonight, Flander pitchers have hit three batters. Well, actually two. They've hit Gao twice. Gao scored a run in the third. And Flander working on a, a pitching change, evidently. We'll send it back to Chris in the studio as Flander makes their pitching change. We'll see who's next in the Flandreau rotation when we come back in one minute.
Harry K. Ford is your only dealer who does $29.95 oil changes every day. Yep, that includes all the oil for the vehicle. Those other guys don't do that. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. And the submarine and Brett Sievertson comes into the ball game, taking his spot in right field. Grant Heave, Flander gives up the DH spot. He takes the field. Two, two. We're all tied up. Alexandria with a two-out threat here, though, in the fourth. And the batter, the cleanup hitter, Tyson Gao, who's been hit by pitch twice tonight. Gao, a two sixty-seven hitter, but. You know, you, in amateur baseball, there's sh certain players that are like legends that you fear. Here's one of them right here. Tyson Gao is a legend. And here he is with two men in scoring position. So Sievertson, pitcher number three for Flander. I'm still predicting one more pitcher yet tonight. We'll see. And there's a fastball all the way, ball one. Brett started Flandreau's first round win. Hasn't started a lot of games this year. He likes to come in and relieve. Here's the one ball pitch, sidearm breaking ball. Misses inside, and it's 2-0. First base does sit there open, but what do you got next? You got Jordan Gow in the on-deck circle. Here's the 2-0 pitch to Tyson Gow. Swing and a miss, off-speed pitch. Oh, yeah, Siebertson's got a nice changeup. How often do you see a side armor throw a changeup? Usually their fastball slider is their mix, but here's a changeup from Siebertson. Two and one the count, and fastball misses away, and it's three and one. Two, two. We're tied up. Flandreau and Alexandria, and the game so far is living up to what we all thought it would be. Here's the two, two. The 3-1 delivery, and it misses inside, and he'll walk him. So the bases are loaded. And Halo Nation, in they almost rise in anticipation here. Bases loaded, and Jordan Gow, the batter, Gow 0 for 2, has reached a fielder's choice twice tonight. And there's a fastball inside corner at the knee. Strike one call. Gao, 245 hitter, but really good power from Jordan Gao. Fastball going to be chopped to the shortstop. McGuire will throw to first. And I'll be darned if Brett Sievertson didn't work his way out of that jam. 2-2 two -two as we go to the fifth here on KJM. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholtauto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. 
At Ashley Home Store, when we say we got it, we really mean it. We've got all the popular styles for every room in your home, as well as some of the highest quality and customer ratings in the industry. Not to mention, we've also got the top mattress brands like Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Ashley Sleep. And payroll deduction financing available so you can take time to pay. So come in today and see why your Pierre Ashley Home Store is the top choice for everything home. Hurry in. We're located on South Garfield Avenue in Pierre. This is home. Alexandria tied at two here in the state quarterfinals for Class B South Dakota Amateur Baseball. We go to the fifth inning. Tomorrow night, another quarterfinal matchup for the Corn Belt League. It'll be the Del Rapids Mudcats taking on Larchwood. That game at 5.30, and in the early game, it'll be on AM 1390. Join AM Joe with the call tomorrow for the Del Rapids Mudcats here on KJAM. Fifth inning, it'll be Drew Demers, Bo Sievertson, and then the top of the order, Jake Patterson in the fifth. Flandreau scored two runs in the first inning, and Alexandria answer with two runs in the third. Been kind of interesting thus far tonight. Flandreau got six outs from Drew Weber and then brought in Zach Wynott and got five outs out of Wynott. So far they got one out out of Brett Sievertson. Flanders th thrown three pitchers. Alexandria, they got their ace on the mound, lefty Jed Schmidt. It's only allowed three hits. And there's a fastball, makes Drew Demers move his feet. Demers, the pickup player from the Gamecocks, ground out to shortstop his first time up. And he takes a fastball at the letters. Strike call. Demers, 378 batting average. Right-handed hitter. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Fastball chopped up the middle. Is that going to find grass? You betcha. There's a leadoff single for Drew Demers as he gets past second baseman with 90 and out into the outfield. So Flanders got something going here in the fifth. Bo Sievertson steps to the plate. Bo, the left fielder, right-handed hitter. Struck out looking his first time up to end the second inning. Bo, 275 batting average from the right side. Kind of, He's in a crouch. He, he tries to get small up there, and he squares the bunt. Pushes a bunt down the first baseline. And nobody... Home, the throw gets away from the first baseman and to third base goes Demers. Demers was totally confused there. They need to teach him the signs. On the bunt attempt, Demers didn't go. He stayed at first and all of a sudden there was going to be a log jam there and then Demers realized I better go. Well, no one wanted to field the bunt. It was placed perfectly between the first baseman and the pitcher and finally they fielded it and then they threw it away. Sievertson will stay at first. I don't know if they called that a hit. Yes, they did. They put a hit on the board. As it was placed perfectly where first baseman and pitcher couldn't field it. Someone finally picked it up, threw it away, and that sent Demers over to third. So Jake Patterson with the runners at the corners, nobody out, and there's a breaking ball from the left-hand pitcher that hits that outside corner, strike one. I miss it. They flash the hit in here. I never know when they're going to flash that, but I do the count. And Flandreau's up to five hits now in the ball game. So Demers at third. Bo Sievertson at first. They both run really well. There's another breaking ball, and there's another strike. Patterson, one of those batters. He's, he's sitting fastball, and if he reads rotation on the ball, he's just going to take it. They'll take a curveball until they have to protect. Now with two strikes, Patterson's got to be a swinger and protect that plate. Here's the 0-2 pitch, another breaky ball. Hit high in the air, deep left field. Peyton Smith turns and runs, and it bounces off the wall and gets away from Smith out there. One run in, the runners had to hold up. The runners weren't very aggressive there. Bo Sievertson ends up on third. Demers scores, Flanders taking the lead, but I think both of the base runners kind of lost that ball. It hit at the base of the fence. There basically was no way Peyton Smith was going to catch that, and the runners didn't go. 
courtesy runner in this time as Jake Patterson says that run to second was enough for me. And let's see, they brought in number two, and I got a feeling I know who that is, but I want to look and make sure. And it is Jacob Patterson. He just got rid of his leg guard is all. Breaking ball for a strike. And the batter's Grant Heeb. Oh, ball. They called that pitch inside. I've got to, I got to watch the umpire and quit umpiring myself. And he's going to hit him in the back. And that brought the umpire out to make sure that Grant Heeb doesn't go out there and continue the discussion with the pitcher. That'll load the bases. Heeb got hit plunk right in the back. Patterson, the runner at second. Heeb at first, and over at third is Bo Sievertson. Nobody out. One run in, and Flanders threatening to have a big inning here in the fifth. Actually, when you're playing Alexandria, I'd recommend they have a big inning because Alexandria can have big innings right back. You've got to get away from them. So lots of angels out on the mound as they talk to their ace left-hander, Jed Schmidt. Schmidt a little rattled after hitting Heave in the back. Keith Cutler, talk about having the hot man on deck come up here. Cutler with his 441 batting average. Left-handed hitter singled last time. Up also reached on an air and scored in this ballgame. 3-2, Flandreau has grabbed the lead here in the fifth. As they try to dethrone the reigning champion, Alexandria Angels. For Flandreau, the first baseman, Keith Cutler. So Cutler the batter, Aiden Ladd on deck. Base is loaded, nobody out, one run in. Flandreau is threatening to have a big inning here. Fastball misses away, ball one. Jed Schmidt seemed to reach back and throw a little harder on that one. Here's the one ball pitch to Keith Culler. Talk about having a veteran hitter up in the right time. There's an off speed pitch right down the middle and that's a strike. One and one to count. Siebertson at third, Patterson at second, Heeb at first. Not exactly great speed on the bases for Flandreau. Here's the 1-1 one -one delivery, and there's a fastball that gets that outside half of the plate. Thigh high, strike two. So one and two, a pitcher's count here against Keith Cutler. Smoke coming from the concession stand. The breeze must have picked up a little bit, blowing out the way it looks. Swing and a foul tip hung on to by Michael Schopmer. That's the second time he's done that tonight. Cutler strikes out for out number one. Here's the cleanup hitter, Aiden Ladd. Ladd with a double in an RBI tonight. Also reached on a fielder's choice. So one for two for the 362 season average hitter. Right-handed hitter. Uh, big power here from Aiden Ladd. Bases loaded, one out. Schmidt taking his time. Full windup and the pitch. Fastball inside corner, strike one. <laughs> Lad goes for a walk. That plate's only 17 inches. Yeah, okay. Got the call. Schmidt taking his time. Now it's really slowed down. Here's the delivery. And it's a fastball fouled back to the concession stand area. And it's two strikes on Aiden Lad. Tim Huber on deck for Flandreau. One run in, one out, base is loaded. It's go time for the Flandreau Cardinals here. Two strikes on Aiden Ladd. He's got to protect. Here's the two strike delivery, breaking ball fouled off. Got rid of a tough pitch there. Bingo at 285, that's a pretty good number, isn't it? We must have a big crowd on hand. <laughs> we'll see if that 50-50 gets up around 400. We know we know we got a big crowd there. Halo Nation and Cardinal, the river crew is here. They got a bus out there in the parking lot. But that's fun. Wouldn't that be fun, jump on a bus and go to amateur baseball tournament? Two strikes, Aiden Lack. Jed Schmidt. Oh, my, is he slowed down. Here's the pitch. 
Breaking ball, laced down the left field line, but foul. That goes out into the parking lot. Hopefully it didn't hit the KJM Mobile Sports Studio out there. Two strikes, we'll do it again. Wow, this had, why do I feel tight on this at bat? I don't know, it, there's pressure here. Aiden Ladd trying to come through and Jed Schmidt's trying to come through. It's man on man here and Schmidt delivers. Fastball, kind of a pitch out there. Trying, I don't know what they were doing there. Catcher went out there and he threw it out there. They thought Flander had something tricky going on. Like a little suicide action. I don't know. They, they, basically a pitch out for ball one. Here's the one two delivery. Breaking ball. Swing and a miss. And Lads retired for out number two. Got him with a breaking ball off the plate. Now a two away. Base is still loaded. Tim Uber is going to have to come through. Uber 0 for 2 on the night. The Flanders second baseman. 381 hitter on the year. Left-handed bat. McGuire on deck for Flandreau, but it's going to be up to Tim Uber right here. Can Jed Schmidt work his way out of a mess, only allowing one run? 3-2, Flanders has grabbed the lead, but they've threatened to score a whole bunch more. Breaking ball. He flinched at it and takes it high. Ball one. That was a tough pitch to take. One ball. Well, they go both ways. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Fastball hits that outer half. Thigh high. Uber taken all the way. Has seen both a ball and a strike now. 1-1 one, one the count. Sure Tim looking for something on the inner half that he can yank out there into right field. And the 1-1 one, one pitch. Breaking ball. Swing and a miss. Nice stop by Schottmer. As the breaking ball ended up in the dirt, Schottmer saved a run there by smothering that by the plate. So a pitcher's count, Jed Schmidt looks like he might work his way out of this trouble. One ball, two strikes. Here's a delivery to Uber. Fast, or breaking ball misses outside. Two and two. All right, here's the pitch for Jed Schmidt. He wants to do it on the two-two count. There's no way he wants to go full count against Tim Uber. So here's the biggest pitch of the inning thus far right here. 2-2 two, two delivery to Tim Uber. Jed Schmidt winds and delivers and it's a breaking ball away. And now the count goes full. Oh my. Three balls, two strikes to Tim Uber. I talk about action pitches. This is an action pitch. Something's going to happen right here. Tim Uber taking his time, gets back in the box now, and Jed Schmidt, here's your 3-2 delivery. Runners go, and it's a fastball, and it hits him. As he tried to, he checked swing, and he pulled it back, and the ball came right in on him and hit him. So it's an RBI hit by pitch. As Bo Sievertson scores, Gives Flander a two-run lead. And now Alexandria is saying that's a foul ball. It hit bat. So we're going to have umpires all over the place. And guess what? Their original call is going to be what the call is. So a two-run lead. Now 4-2 Flander with two runs in. I bet they never figured on scoring them that way, but they'll take that run on a hit batter. He flinched at it, a baby check swing, and then the ball came right in on him and hit him in the hands or in the wrist, somewhere right there. I can see where they would gripe a little bit about that being hitting the bat. Brian McGuire, the batter, two away yet, bases still loaded. And McGuire's 0 for 2 on the night. Strikeout and ground out, and he takes a strike on the first pitch. Fastball in the outer half. 
Bo Se or Brett Sievertson on deck. Brian McGuire, the eighth man to bat in the inning for Flandreau. Left-handed batter looks at a breaking ball, lifts it foul over the first base dugout and out of play, and it's two quick strikes on Brian McGuire. McGuire, 320 batting average this season. Two runs in, but three more out there on the bases. Bases loaded. Schmidt retired two men after that, but a hit batter brought one more in. There's a breaking ball outside, one and two. He's had some luck with those breaking balls off the plate, getting Flander to chase. And their bats are too short to hit them. But it looks good, then all of a sudden it disappears. Wow, that goes back to the screen. That's going to score a run as a fastball in the dirt will bring in Jake Patterson for run number three in the inning, five in the game. He moves up, Uber moves up, two men still in scoring position. And 2-2 two, two the count. Jed Schmidt just lost control of that pitch right away. Bounced it in the right-hand batter's box. And Schottmer didn't have a prayer. Back to the screen it goes, and a run comes in. 5-2. So it looked like Alexandria was going to get out of trouble here, only allowing one run this inning. Now it's worked its way up to three runs. And Hubert fouls off a fastball to stay alive. 2-2 two, two the count. Gets a new ball from the umpire. Always wonder, state tournament, when they, when the crowd has a choice to keep the ball. I know a normal amateur game, we use about eight balls, seven to eight balls. But here, where the fans can keep some of the foul balls, I bet we use about 20. I, I should ask Jocko once how many balls they use in a game. I think a case is 24. I wonder if they use a case in a game. McGuire steps out, asks for time. Now gets back in. 2-2. Two, two. Three runs in. Two men in scoring position. Two away. And a breaking ball, and that's low, and the count goes full. First base is open. The ninth man to bat in the inning would be Brett Sievertson. He's on deck. First, it looked like Flander was going to have a huge inning. Then it looked like Alexandria was going to get out of it. And now Flander, they've got three on the board. And still threatening here in the fifth. 5-2. So a full count pitch to Brian McGuire. The delivery. Fastball high, and he walks him. That'll reload the bases, and Brett Sievertson will be the batter. Brett, another one of those big situation type of hitters. 296 average on the year for about for the six foot four right-handed batter. Now in pitching, the third Flandreau pitcher on the night. This big inning, Sievertson threw to one batter and then went back to the dugout, so I wonder how tightened up Brett's going to get here. Sievertson, good power. He pitched to two batters. Oh, I'm sorry, don't let me make mistakes. And Jed Schmidt delivers. Fastball swing and a miss. And Sievertson late on that one. One strike. Flanders scored five runs on six hits. Alexander has committed two errors. Alex has two runs on three hits. Flanders committed two errors. We're in the top of the fifth inning. Three runs in. Base is loaded. And there's a breaking ball that breaks around the plate. And the count goes even. One ball, one strike. To the ninth batter of the inning, Brett Sievertson. Two outs, they were both strikeouts. Cutler and Ladd both struck out. Fastball inside corner. Bell tie right under the hands. A strike to Brett Sievertson. One ball, two strikes as Jed Schmidt tries to end this inning. I guess you'd say with only three runs scored because it could get a lot worse. Time called by Sievertson. As he steps out, takes a practice swing. Drew Demers on deck. He started this inning with a single and scored. Here's the pitch. Fastball going to be looped to second base and handled by Wanandi to end the inning. So Sievertson pops up to the second baseman. 
Three runs on three hits, and they leave three men on. Five, two, Flandreau leads. We're halfway through this ball game, and we'll be back in one minute. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Actegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Actegra agronomist for details or visit actegra.com today. Harry K. Ford, your go-to dealer for transparency and the lowest prices. From sales to service, we pride ourselves on transparency and low prices. It's who we are every day. Family, friends, and Fords, in that order. We've got a history of serving you. A history of family-owned community banking that goes back over 100 years. We grew up here. We're local. And local ownership means local decisions. It means our products are tailored to meet local needs. We take pride in our support of many local organizations and encourage community growth through charitable contributions and employee involvement. First Fidelity Bank, member FDIC. First class banking on a first name basis. And then got Jordan Gowd ground out to end that threat for Alexandria in the fourth. So it'll be the six, seven, and eight batters for Alexandria here in the fifth. Facing Brett Sievertson, sidearm fastball is going to be ripped into right field. A leadoff single for Gronoweg, and looks like Alexandria wants to respond right away to Flanders' three runs. Flanders, two runs in the first, three runs in the fifth. They add up, adds up to five. Alexandria answer with two runs in the third. And now the pickup player, Gronoweg, gets his first hit of the ball game, a single to right, and here's Adam Durfee. Derpy one for two, single and reached on an air. So he's been on base both times tonight. Right-handed batter, 382 average. Came from Minnesota, had Minnesota amateur ball experience. And a fastball fouled back. I kind of follow Minnesota amateur ball. They had problems over there this year. They had to disqualify like eight teams for illegal rosters this year. And there's a fastball fouled away, and it's one ball, two strikes on Adam Durfee with Pierce Smith on deck. Of course, they have, I don't know, 250 to 300 amateur teams in three different classes, and it's big around the cities. There's a fastball away, 2-2 two -two now. Brett Sievertson. Usually pitches three quarters to totally sidearm. He's got the arm way out there and a swing and a miss. A ball pops out of the catcher's glove, but he can't go anywhere because there's a runner at first base and he strikes out for out number one. He's excited. Go to first on the drop strike, but there's a runner there. That, unless there's two outs, that stops you. Pierce Smith, the batter. Pierce 0 for 1. Strike out and a walk tonight. The right-handed hitting first baseman, 455 batting average. Pierce Smith can hit, and he takes a fastball on the outer half. That pops out of Patterson's glove, but Gronaweg not going anywhere. Patterson quickly retrieves the loose ball. One strike, one out here in the fifth. 5-2, Flandreau leads. And a fastball low. One ball, one strike. Sievertson's going to step off the rubber. Now reset. Short lead at first for Gronoweg. That's almost no lead. Flinch is at a breaking ball. It crosses the inside corner. Strike. One ball, two strikes. Wanted to swing at it. Just couldn't get it to go. So one and two. Pitchers count for Brett Sieverts, and there's a fastball fouled off the end of the bat. Might have been out of the strike zone, but Smith protecting the plate. And it'll stay at one and two. 
Breeze is starting to pick up, blowing out, probably five miles an hour, blowing out. Temperature dropped down to 66. Says winds at eight miles an hour, blowing out. So the weather changing a little bit here. Wind blowing out to left field. One ball, two strikes. And a fastball, that's going to hit him in the leg. Ouch. Hit batter. Send Smith the first. Gronoeg advances to second. And Alexandria with a threat going here in the fifth. Here's Jared Zenz. Zenz 0 for 2, the left handed hitting center fielder. Is that four hit batters tonight thus far for Flander has hit Alex four times tonight? One out here in the fifth. Two men on. And the pitch. Fastball. Check. Excuse me. Swing. And he goes too far. And that'll be a strike. Gronawig, the batter, the runner at second, doesn't run real well. Pierce Smith at first. Here's the one strike delivery. In on the hands, and he fouls that off the bat right at the on deck hitter, Peyton Smith. Look out, Peyton. Two quick strikes on Jared Zenz. Brett Sievertson, the third pitcher of the ball game for Flandreau, and yes, they're ahead, 5 to 2. And Sievertson delivers. Fastball swing and a miss. And Zen strikes out for the second out of the inning. Second strikeout for Brett Sievertson. And now he wants to talk to Patterson. Peyton Smith, the batter. Smith has had an adventurous night in the leadoff spot. He has a single. He has a walk. He's been hit by a pitch. He's been on base all three times. The little right-handed batter, 480 hitter, left fielder for the Alexandria Angels, defending state champion in the state tournament game seven out of the last eight years. The year they didn't make it, who knocked him out? Flandreau, that's who knocked him out. And there's a breaking ball that Smith takes for a strike, strike one. Brett Sievertson comes set, looks back at the runner, and now delivers a break. A Breaking ball, it misses away. One and one. Two outs here, bottom of the fifth. 5-2. Flandreau trying to hang on to their lead over Alexandria. Two men on. Sievertson steps off the rubber and drives Gronoweg back to second base. Gronoweg looks around and sees that there were no fielders there for him to throw to. So, okay. Nice fake, Brett Sievertson. And Sievertson delivers a fastball high and inside. And it's one, two balls, one strike. Cole with Andy on deck for Alexandria. We're in the bottom of the fifth. Off-speed pitch, fouled out of play. And now a pitcher's count, two balls, two strikes. Smith back in the box as after stepping out. And Sievertson delivers. Breaking ball. That's fouled away. Nice job, Peyton Smith. Got rid of a tough pitch there. Breaking ball. That would have been belt high, outer half, and he just made it go away. Flicked the bat at it. Veteran hitter, Peyton Smith. Here's the delivery. Fastball high. Now the count goes full. So 2-2 two -two was the count that Sievertson wanted it to happen on. Now he has to go 3-2 with two outs. The runners will leave. That makes slow runners become faster. That's for sure. And the runners, they'll take off. 3-2 pitch on the way. And that's going to hit him in the leg. Owie. There's hit batters everywhere. And the bases are now loaded. Drop down almost submarine level with the arm, and a pitch just went in on the lead leg and just plunked him. For the 
So the bases are loaded, and there's danger time here for the Flandreau Cardinals. Here's Cole and Andy. The second baseman, 0 for 3 in the ball game, right-handed batter. Two away. And Brett Sievertson's kind of brought this trouble on himself. He did give up a single, but then he's hit two of the men that are on base. Sievertson comes set. Here's the pitch, and it's a breaking ball at the knee. Strike call. That was a, the hard slider type breaking ball. Sievertson has about five pitches. It's just, you don't know what he's going to throw next or what arm position. And there's a fastball hit into right field, and Grant Heeb has that, and the threat is over. Oh, my. As Winandi lines out to right with the bases loaded to end the inning. 5-2. We go to the sixth inning here from the state quarterfinals in Cadwell Park. Feel more confident and in control of your financial life. Ameriprise Advisors can work with you to provide personalized, goal-based advice based on your short and long-term goals. Plus, you can track your investments and financial solutions with our digital tools and regular meetings. Call John Pokup at 1-800-713-9160 to see the multiple ways I can help you on your retirement journey. Legacy Financial Partners, a private wealth advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, LLC, is located at 218 South Monroe Street in Winter, South Dakota. Member FINRA and SIPC. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholeauto.com. Menhol Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. For Tuesday in FM 103.1 KJAM Madison for your listening entertainment tonight. Whether you're out in your out on the deck, sitting in the kitchen, or driving in your car, thank you for tuning in. Relief pitcher in for Alexandria. They bring in their ace right-hander, Ethan Davis, with his 5-0 record on the season. So Jed Schmidt pitches five innings. And allows six hits and five runs. So Flander batted around in the fifth and scored three runs. So Drew Demers will lead off again here in the sixth. Demers one for two with a single and a run scored. Right-handed batter, the pickup player from the Gamecocks, wearing the powder blue. And Ethan Davis, the right-hander, delivers a big breaking ball that catches the top of the strike zone. Strike one. Davis, right-hander, probably doesn't throw quite as hard as Jed Schmidt, but it's different. It's from the right side. And there's a line drive on a fastball out to left field. And Drew Demers is doing what pickup players are supposed to do. Get hits. They play well. Two for three now in the ball game. He starts out the sixth inning with a leadoff single. Bo Sievertson will be the batter. Bo singled and scored in the fifth. Struck out looking. First time up. If you're joining us on live ticket, yes, that is a face mask on Bo Sievertson. He's protecting a face that got dinged from a foul ball that bounced up off the plate and got him. So Ethan Davis. And there's the bunt. It's pushed to that same spot between first and pitcher. And the pitcher is going to take it this time. And the sacrifice will be 1-3 on the putout. And Demers advances to second base. So a little small ball for the Flandreau Cardinals here as they move the runner along. It will be the top of the order, Jake Patterson. Jake with his 305 average. Is 1 4 3 in the ball game. 305 hitter on the year from the right side. Leadoff hitting catcher. And a good one. Davis with one out, and there's a breaking ball that catches the top part of the zone as it crosses the plate. One strike. 
Wow, that ball moves a lot. Really has a drop to it. There's one strike. Grant Heave on deck for Flander. We're in the sixth inning. Demers, healthy lead at second base. Swing and a miss at a fastball off the plate. Two strikes on Jake Patterson. So Jake's going to have to protect here. Demers, the runner at second. The infielder's Gowan with Nandi. When Andy trying to keep him close. Demers runs well. Here's the two strike pitch. Fastball in the dirt. Nice block by Schottmer, the catcher. One and two. Demers got caught up earlier. Kind of a base running miscue on a sacrifice bunt attempt. He didn't go from first. Oh my, and then finally, once the bunt had almost stopped rolling, he took off running and ended up in third on a wild throw. Chopper, two third base. Durfee comes up with it. He'll hold the runner and then the long throw across the diamond. And they'll get Patterson by a step at first for out number two. So Grant Heeb, a hit would probably score Demer, Demers here. Grant Heeb, 0 for 2 and hit by a pitch. Both outs were fly ball outs to left field. So Heeb's been hitting the ball left, left-handed hitter. Outfield play straight away. And yet Ethan Davis looking to finish his first inning of relief work here. The right-hander delivers. Fastball misses inside. Ball one. Outfield playing at standard depth for Grant Heeb. Keith Cutler on deck. That would see him move around a little bit with a left-handed pull hitter. Here's the one ball pitch. Swing and a miss. Got away with a fastball right down the middle and Heeb can't find it. One ball, one strike. Winner of this game plays Dimmick Emery. Saturday at 5.30. Here's the 1-1 one -one delivery. Off-speed pitch. Tries to push it out to left field again. Flares it foul. Out of play. You could see where Grant Heave wanted that ball to go. He tried to push that out to left field and fouled it off. So Grant Heave, kind of, he's a directional hitter. You don't see that all that often in amateur ball. Most of the guys are just happy to hit the ball. Grant Heave, he tries to hit it where he wants to hit it. Now he's got to protect the plate. One ball, two strikes. And he looks at a fastball low. Nice block again by Schottmer. 2-2 two, two the count. Two out in here. Flanders trying to manufacture a run here in the sixth. They lead 5-2. to two. But how many runs is enough against Alexandria? I don't know, 20? <laughs> he won a lot of runs against Alexandria. Here's a 2-2 two, two delivery from Ethan Davis. And it's going to be a ground ball to second base. Wanandi up with it. And he'll toss over to first base and retire Heeb to end the inning. So a couple ground ball outs gets, Flan or gets Alexandria out a little bit of trouble here in the sixth. 5-2. Flandre leads for Alexandria. In the sixth inning, it'll be the heart of the order. Shart Shotmer, Gao, and Gao. And we come back in one minute. Shop local with Burke and Gregory Building Centers, your hometown hardware stores, specializing in everything from finding the right drill bit to building your dream home. The crew at Burke and Gregory Building Centers take pride in customer service and are always available to help with any project, big or small. They offer top-of-the-line flooring and cabinetry, a large inventory of rental items, quality Pittsburgh paint, and so much more. Follow them on Facebook and shop online anytime at bgbuildingcenter.com. 
Join the team and take on your legacy. Since 1862, the South Dakota Army National Guard has been ready to defend our freedom and our way of life. When our nation calls, we are there to help our friends, neighbors, and communities in the event of forest fires, floods, tornadoes, and severe winter storms right here in South Dakota. Now we want you to write the next chapter in our rich history of the South Dakota Army National Guard. Visit their Facebook and Instagram pages or nationalguard.com slash SD. We had a girl come up and said, we had a girl come up and said she had got the bingo and it was for $285 and she did not have it. Oh my, go sit down. Cheater, 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 cheater. Lots of fun here at State Baseball. That's a first though. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. She's trying to steal that $285. Now watch, she'll win on the next number, but oh well. Michael Schottmer to lead off here for Alexandria. Schottmer two for three in the ball game. Single and a double and a fly ball out to center and he faces Brett Sievertson. Sievertson starts with a fastball low, ball one. Drew Weber got six outs for Flandreau. Then Zach Wynott got five outs for Flandreau and now Brett Sievertson's got four outs for Flandreau. That's the way they're doing it. They're pitching this game by committee. And I'm not sure Brett Sievertson will be the last pitcher. There's a fastball away. Now 2-0 the count to Michael Schottmer with Tyson Gow on deck, followed by Jordan Gow. Dangerous inning here in the sixth. So 2-0. And, and the pitch. There's a fastball. And didn't miss by much, but doesn't get the call. And it's 3-0. Fastball in the outer half of the plate, just off. 3-0, Sievertson delivers. And that one right down the middle, 3-1. People used to understand my Bing Crosby impression, but nobody gets it anymore. Getting too old. And Sievertson going to do a little dirt work before he delivers this next pitch. Brett likes to work really quickly if the opposing hitters will let him. Here's the 3-1 delivery. And that's going to plunk him in the back, and that's batter number five. Ouch. I'm going to need an abacus here to keep track of how many batters have been hit. And now I think that Brett Sievertson might be getting a warning here as the umpire goes out and talks to him and says, I don't want to see that again. That one plunked him right in the numbers. And I got a feeling that Brett Sievertson might have been told not to let that happen again. So Schottmer with a lead off hit by pitch. And they check to make sure that Schottmer's okay over there at first base. And he says, yeah, I'm a catcher. I'm good. Tyson Gow is the batter. He's been hit twice. Goes after the first pitch and lo loops it into shallow left field. That's well in front of Bo Sievertson. And that'll be a single. First hit of the ball game for Tyson Gow. Schottmer advances to second. And just like that, Alexandria has something going here in the sixth. Jordan Gow will be the batter. Jordan 0 for 3 on the night. A ground out. And has reached on fielder's choice twice. He does have a run scored. He scored one of Alexandria's two runs. The right-handed hitting shorts. The right hand hitting shortstop, 245 average, and he fouls a pitch back, strike one. Following Gow will be their pickup player, Gronewig. 5 2, Flander leads, but Alexandria with men on here in the six with nobody out. As Brett Sievertson tries to work through the adventure that's going to be this sixth inning. Infield expects a bunt and a spin move and a fake throw to second. No fielders there, but it was a good fake. Drove him right back. One strike on Jordan Gow. Swing and a miss at a breaking ball off the plate. And just like that, it's two quick strikes on Gow. Now Sievertson moves on the mound. He moves way over to the third base side of the rubber. 
He's barely touching the rubber now. And delivers a sidearm fastball high. One and two. Let's see where he sets up on the rubber this time. More in the middle of the rubber this time. Still towards the third base side. And here's the one and two delivery. Fastball swing and a miss. And Jordan Gow is retired for out number one. Aaron Grunweg. Grunweg, one for three. A couple ground outs and then he singled in the fifth. Ended up stranded at third base. Grunweg from Corsica Stickney. Wearing the brown and orange of Corsica Stickney. And he goes after a fastball. Fouls that out of play over the first base dugout. Strike one. 5-2 if you're just joining us. Where you been? You're missing a heck of a ball game. Flanders scored two in the first to grab the early lead. Alexandria answered with two in the third. And then Flanders put three up in the fifth to lead 5-2. to two. Fastball foul back into the netting. And now it's two quick strikes on Aaron Gronowick. 3.43 average for the season. Adam Durfee on deck for the Halos, Alexander Angels. Two strikes, Brett Sievertson grins with a pitcher's count and delivers a sidearm fastball, lifted into shallow territory by first base and caught in foul territory by Cutler for out number two. So Sievertson trying to work his way out of a little jam here in the sixth. And it's down to two outs and Adam Durfee, the batter. Durfee, he looks good at the plate. 382 batting average. One for three on the night. Reached on an air and a single. And then struck out swinging last time. And he takes a fastball high. Ball one. Pierce Smith on deck. Uh, yeah, I was. Huh? Maybe. <laughs> And another fastball. This one fouled back out of play, and the count goes even. One ball, one strike. Still can't get over that girl trying to cheat at bingo and got caught. Nice job, announcer man. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Fastball, inner half, belt line, and the crowd and Adam Durfee don't agree. One ball, two strikes. People don't like the inside pitches. They never do. There's two sides to the plate. Here's the one-two delivery. Fastball, and he checks swings. Goes too far, and that strikeout will end the inning. So Brett Sievertson works out of a slight jam in the sixth. It's announcer stretch time. Top of the seventh. Five, two, Flandreau leads. Limestone canyons, flowing waterfalls, and pristine beauty make Spearfish a sanctuary for those seeking the ultimate escape. Outdoor enthusiasts will find top-notch sport climbing, mountain biking, and UTV OHV trails. Guests are steps away from peaceful hiking trails and tranquil streams. Relax and rehash your day's adventure at one of our award-winning local breweries. Finding rest is an important part of any adventure. Lodging in Spearfish comes with a variety of choices, from cabins, B&Bs, and campgrounds to the comforts of your popular brand-name hotels. To find your unique adventure in Spearfish, go to visitspearfish.com. Calm now. At Monument Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, we are here to help you make your comeback. Our team is standing by to diagnose and treat your injury with some of the most advanced treatment options available and same-day appointments. Monument Health practitioners work closely with our therapists and physicians in communities throughout the Black Hills with locations in Rapid City and Spearfish. Visit monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. That's monument.health slash orthopedics for more information. Be the heart of the batting order for the Cardinals here in the seventh. Keith Cutler, Aiden Ladd, Tim Huber, three, four, and five to bat against Ethan Davis, the right handed reliever, in to start his second inning of work. 5 0 oh record this year pitching for Alexandria. Of course, Alexandria 16 and 2 on the year. Flandreau 14 and 10. Flandreau had a middle section of the season where basically they had trouble getting guys to come. They had trouble getting guys at games for different reasons and lost a few games in there. But leading right now in the state quarterfinals, 
They want to play Dimmick Emery. Saturday at 5.30. That's what the winner of this game is going to do. And that'll be the state semifinals. One game away from the state finals. Keith Culler lead off. Keith's one for three in the ball game. A single in the third. Reached on an air in the first and scored the second run of the game for Flander. Struck out swinging last time up. Left-handed hitting first baseman. Leading off here in the seventh against the righty, Ethan Davis. And Davis delivers. Fastball is going to be fouled off the end of the bat into the screen above the first, third base dugout. Strike one. Never been there to Cadwell Park. The seating section, nice seating section, goes almost dugout to dugout with a screen in front of it. And then there's seating sections down the field. That's a little rowdier out there. There's an off-speed pitch. Taken for strike two. Yeah, they're a little rowdier there in the outfield bleachers. They tend to drink beer out there. So a pitcher's count 0-2 to Cutler. And a swing and a miss. They'll have to prove the strikeout, though, as it gets away from the pitcher or the catcher, and they throw down to first. And Cutler's retired for out number one here in the seventh. Aiden Ladd comes to the plate. Aiden with an RBI double in the first. Reaching a fielder's choice and struck out. So Aiden won for three this evening. Right-handed batter playing third tonight. I think I've done a couple games this year where he caught. Good catcher. But third base tonight. And there's a off-speed pitch taken for strike one. Tim Huber on deck for Flandreau. 5-2 they lead. They'd love to score a whole bunch and get away from Alexandria. Get away from that offensive juggernaut that can score runs in big bunches. There's a breaking ball. It misses outside. One and one that count. And here's the one one delivery. Fastball foul back. So we go from one false bingo winner. Now it looks like we might have about six bingo, eight bingo winners. And they, they all split the pot evenly. I, I still feel bad for that girl that was mistaken and thought she had a bingo. The crowd flogged her greatly as she walked back down there. One and two the count to Aiden Ladd. Here's the pitch. High fly ball center field and it's deep. Zenz turns and runs and he's going to run it down. Nice play by Zenz in center field. 420 feet out there. How far did that go? Uh, 395, somewhere in that neighborhood. I know it would be out of my backyard. Yeah, Aiden Ladd gives that one a ride, but still in the park, and Zenz runs it down for out number two. Tim Uber, the batter. Tim 0 for 1. Had a hit-by-pitch RBI last time up, and he squares to bunt and takes a fastball away as he pulls the bat back. Ball one. McGuire on deck, hoping that Uber can get it going here with two outs in the top of the seventh. Fastball low, ball two. Schottmer, just notice Schottmer, catcher that puts the knee down. Don't see a lot of that yet in amateur ball. We will start to see it, though. It'll work its way from the pros down. And swing at a miss. Uber behind the fastball, and that was his pitch. He knows it. You get one pitch per at bat that you should really, really do something with, and that was the pitch right there, a fastball belt high right down the middle, and he missed it. So two balls and a strike. With two away, here's the pitch to Uber. Fastball, outside corner belt high. Two balls, two strikes. And just like that, we go from a hitter's count to a pitcher's count. And Ethan Davis now back in charge in this at bat. Here's the 2-2 delivery. Swing and a miss. And he strikes him out for out number three. Three up, three down for Flander in the seventh. Seventh inning stretch coming up. And once again, I will not sing, even if asked. So don't bother asking. 5-2, Flander leads. We'll be back in a minute. You got your hydraulic cylinders replaced last week. Now save 8% on all funnels this week at Grossenberg Implement. 
since you'll need to fill up your hydraulic oil. Get that extra funnel that you can never find in your shop, garage, or shed. Don't wait. Save 8% this week at any one of their eight South Dakota, Nebraska, and Wyoming Grossenberg locations. Grossenberg Implement, your family-owned John Deere dealer since 1937. This is Jason with Dakota Carpet Restoration. No job is too small or too big. Leaked water from frozen pipes, sump pump failures, or a flooded basement? We can help. If your house is underwater, no problem. Call us right away. Even if it's 3 in the morning, we'll take care of the water damage before mold sets in. Dakota Carpet Restoration, 481-8709. The clean you expect, the service you deserve. Eklund Tax Service, located at 323 Main Street in Gregory, South Dakota, is available for all your tax preparations. Mark Eklund has been a staple in the Gregory community for many years and wants to help you and your business have success by specializing in all types of bookkeeping. Eklund Tax can take care of any agricultural, retail, or personal bookkeeping or tax preparation. Call Mark at Eklund Tax today at 605-835-9665. Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholtauto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park from Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. Eight days from now, I can't believe football's going to start already. Join me on game night on FM 103 as I follow the area football teams and trying to bring you exciting games on FM 103. It is Pierce Smith, Jared Zins, and Peyton Smith here in the bottom of the seventh. And a strike at the knees from Brett Sievertson. Drew Weber started the game. Zach Wynott came in in relief. And now Sievertson, the third pitcher. Breaking ball. Check swing. Called a strike by the first base off as they appeal down there. Two strikes on Pierce Smith. Pierce has walked, struck out, and been hit by a pitch. So 0 for 1 officially. 455 batting average. And he lifts a fly ball into center field. Demers. The breeze is pushing him back, and he's backing up, and he has it for out number one. Wow, seven winners and bingo. Jared Zenz will be the batter. Zenz 0 for 3 tonight, the little left-handed batter. Steps in the box. Of course, just like most left-handed hitters, crowds the plate. And he looks at an off-speed pitch right down the middle. Bell tie, strike one from Brett Sievertson. Outfield playing shallow for Zens. They're obviously have take, come in a little ways. And Sievertson misses with a fastball away. The count, one ball, one strike. Here's the 1-1 one -one delivery. And it's going to be lifted high in the air. And the second baseman, Uber is going to catch it one step out onto the grass for out number two. Top of the batting order, Peyton Smith comes up. Fifth time through the batting order for Alexandria. Smith has had an interesting evening. Walk, hit by pitch, single, hit by pitch. So he's been on base four times. How much was a 50-50? Five, over $500 for 50-50 tonight. The crowd, big crowd, and they're, they're spendy crowd. Fastball inside. He makes Peyton Smith move his feet here. Two outs. Bottom of the seventh. Flandreau clinging to a 5-2 lead. Good baseball game. There's a breaking ball. Outside corner. Yes, sir. That's a strike. One ball, one strike. And Peyton Smith, 480. Hitter. Sievertson. And it's going to be flared to the first baseman. Easy play for Cutler to end the seventh inning. 
Three up, three down for Alexandria in the seventh. Score remains five to two. We go to the eighth here in the state quarterfinals on KJM. The Gola Buffalo Casino at Lower Brule is proud of our area youth for their competitive spirit and participation in the various high school activities. It takes dedication and commitment to be the best you can be. It's all about sportsmanship and not whether you win or lose, but how you play the game. The Gola Buffalo Casino is your winning destination for great food and more ways to win. More often, our youth, our future. We at the Gola Buffalo Casino say thanks for all you do. When we think American made, we think quality and craftsmanship. That's why at Badlands Distillery, all of our spirits are made in-house, one small batch at a time. We believe the best spirits start with the best ingredients, so we're proud that the Badlands Distillery lineup uses high quality, locally sourced ingredients. So the next time you enjoy the smooth taste of a Badlands Distillery spirit, you know you're drinking the best. Badlands Distillery, proudly American made. 5-2, Flandreau leads the winner. Plays Dimmick Emery in the semifinals Saturday at 5.30. Oh my, we're getting down there. Down to the final four on Saturday. Of course, two more quarterfinal games tomorrow night. First one has the Del Rapids Mudcats taking on Larchwood. That game will be on AM 1390, and there's a good sign that the warm-up throw from the catcher goes way out into center field. <laughs> Ethan Davis on the mound, the relief, the right-handed relief plate pitcher. He'll start with McGuire. Brett Sievertson, Drew Demers here in the eighth. 5-2, Flander leads. They'd love to pick up a, a couple more runs. Heck, ten more runs, Flander would love. Get away from Alexandria. And there's a fastball right down the middle. Strike one to Brian McGuire. Brian 0 for 2 with a walk this evening. The left-handed hitting shortstop. Swings at a breaking ball. Strike two. Swing and a miss. Brett Sievertson on deck. Here's the two-strike delivery from Ethan Davis. Fastball high. Tried to get him to go after a high one. And McGuire takes that one and two now. Full wind up from Davis who's taking his time now and then McGuire says that's too long. He asks for time and steps out. Now back in. Still a pitcher's count. One ball, two strikes. Fastball, excuse me, roller out to shortstop. Jordan Gow charges it and gets it by half a step. Wow, McGuire got down the baseline in a hurry, but Gow gets him for out number one. Brett Sievertson, the batter. Brett, now the pitcher. Not Brett's night at the plate. 0 for 3 at the plate tonight. A ground out, a pop up. And a strikeout, so he's made out three different ways. Sievert's a right-handed hitter. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball, swing, and a miss. Nice pitch, Ethan Davis. I love when Brett Sievertson gets on base. I want to see what he's going to do next, because he does amazing things on the base pass. And you just go, wow, how'd he get away with that? There's a fastball away, one ball, one strike. One away here in the top of the eighth. 5-3, five, 5-2, five, Flandreau leads. Breaking ball stays inside. Corner. Oh, they got a corner call on that one. One ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Fastball low. Two and two. Outfield playing at normal depth for Brett Sievertson. Demers on deck for Flandreau here, top of the eighth. 
Fastball, excuse me, swing's going to be rolled to third baseman. Durfee dives, comes up throwing, and the throw gets away from Pierce Smith. So Sievertson will be safe on the air, I believe. He made a super play to stop it as he laid out to stop it. And then the throw was offline to first. So Brett Sievertson, I get my wish, he's on base. Let's see what he does. Brett's not all that fast, but he, he runs bases really recklessly, I guess is the best way to put it. Drew DeMurr is the batter. Drew has had a big night, two for three at the plate. A pair of singles and a run scored for the Gamecock. And here's the pitch. Breaking ball in the dirt. Nice stop by Shopmer as he kind of shoveled that one to make sure it stayed in front of him. And they call that play an air, I think. They put an air up. One ball to count to Demers. Bo, Bo Sievertson in the on deck path. Here's Davis's pitch. Breaking ball. Misses, gets the outside corner at the knees. I knew it was either going to be close or a strike, and he gets the strike call on it. 1 1. Good pitch. It's a good pitch whether it was a ball or a strike. It was right there. And Demers gets the strike call against him. 1 1 the count. Breaking ball hit high in the air to shallow left field. And we got a collision happening? No. Zenz calls everybody out, and the center fielder takes it himself for out number two. Ideally, that's the way it's supposed to work. The center fielder's the quarterback out there, and Zanz called the shortstop and the left fielder off and takes it himself. Sievertson still at first base, and Bo Sievertson, the batter. Bo, oh, Bo's one for two, a single and a strikeout. Sacrifice bunt last time he was up. And a fastball in the dirt gets away from Schottmer and goes back to the screen. And Brett Sievertson moves up into scoring position at second base. And we'll call that a wild pitch as in the dirt handcuff Schottmer. Top of the eighth inning. One more run would be nice for sure for Flandreau. 5-2, they got the lead. There's the 1-0 pitch to Bo Sievertson with his fancy white helmet. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball, hit into the air to center field. Zenz shuffling back, shuffling back, and finally he's there and gets it for out number three. So a pair of fly ball outs to center field ends the eighth inning. Bottom of the eighth. Up next, Alexandria sends when Nandy. Shotmer and Tyson Gow up when we come back. If you're hunting for a great deal on your next ride, get into Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier. We're locked and loaded on all of our new and used inventory, like this 2018 Toyota Highlander, only $28,495. Looking for low price reliability? Try a 2011 Honda Accord for only $6,995. Who wants a loaded up truck? We have a 2014 Chevy Silverado 1500 LTZ for only $17,995. Get to Gateway Ford Lincoln Toyota in Pier, 518 East Sioux Avenue. Call 605-224-7378 and visit Gateway F lt.com we hope you are all enjoying the student productions of your school tonight's event and every event produced by your school during the school year are created filmed and produced by the students you love to follow and support become a booster of your school's live event coverage by becoming a sponsor it's a great way to show your support of the athletes and students in your community as a sponsor, you'll get great visibility for your business, organization, or family by supporting the live productions of your school. $65. That tells you how big the crowd is and how happy everybody is. They spent some money tonight. Colwyn Andy to lead off the eighth for Alexandria. Cole 0 for 4 on the night. He's been hitting the ball in the air. And he's been hitting it at people. Pop up, line out, and a fly out. Also reached on an air and stole a base tonight. When Andy, the second baseman. Brett Sievertson. 
came in with two out in the fourth. So if my fuzzy Minnesota math is right, starting his fourth inning to work here. And when Andy looks at a breaking ball that cuts that outside corner, strike one call. When Andy Schottmer, Tyson Gow here in the eighth for the Angels. Breaking ball misses away. That pitch was pretty close. That's a chaser. One ball, one strike. Breeze blowing out to left, picking up a little bit. Fastball lined in the left field. And that's going to get by Bo Sievertson and go all the way to the wall. And digging for two is Cole Winandi, and he'll be there with a stand-up double to start this eighth inning. The leadoff man now in scoring position, and Michael Schottmer will be the batter. Schottmer two for three on the night. A single, a double, a fly out, and been hit by a pitch. Batting now with nobody out in the eighth, 5-2. Flander with a three-run lead. And Brett Sievertson comes set and delivers a breaking ball, and that's going to cut that outside corner and strike call. First pitch strike, so important. And Brett Sievertson doing it here in this ball game. Here's the one strike delivery. Fastball fouled back, and it's two strikes now on Michael Schottmer. Tyson Gow on deck. So a winner in the 50-50 said he bought a whole bunch of tickets. Got in, got to spend money to make money, right? Two strikes to count. Will Brett Sievertson go right after him? Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss at a high fastball. And Schottmer is out number one. Tyson Gow, the batter. Tyson's been hit by a pitch twice tonight, walked and singled. So it's officially one for one in the ball game. And Brett Sievertson gets over on that third base side of the rubber. Here comes the sidearm pitch, and oh my, nice pitch. At the letters, outer half, strike one call. He just perches over there on that third base side and then throws the sidearm. Them right-handed batters hate this stuff. Here's the one strike delivery. Breaking ball. And that's at the knees outside corner. And it's two quick strikes. And Brett Sievertson all of a sudden is bearing down. Two strikes on Tyson Gow. Jordan Gow on deck. Here's the two strike pitch. Tries that high fastball again. Tyson Gow doesn't chase. One and two. This game's getting more intense. You can just feel it here. The crowd's just silent. Fastball hit high in the air. Foul territory by the first base dugout. Run, 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 and no one gets it. As it hit that perfect triangle of where Sievertson, Cutler, and Patterson, no one can get there. Al should have had that one. Would have only been about three steps for Al, the umpire tender. Count stays, one ball, two strikes. Good pitch that Gao gets rid of to stay alive. Kind of thought Cutler would get there, but Cutler's playing so deep at first base, he had a lot of ground to cover. Matter of fact, Sievertson was closer to it, coming off the mound. So 1-2, we do it again. And it's a fastball that goes back to the screen. The runner's going to move up to third. Way in the left-hand batter's box. That one got away from Brett Sievertson. 2-2 two, two the count. When Andy now at third base. 5-2. This is the bottom of the eighth. For Flander in the ninth, it'll be the top of the batting order coming up. If they can ever get Alexandria out. There's a fastball, and that goes back to the screen. The run's going to come home, and there'll be no play. As Winandy will score on a wild pitch. Back-to-back -back wild pitches move him to third and then home. 
And you don't need to give Alexandria Angels runs like that. That's not recommended. You can beat them, but don't give them runs. 5-3 three, three now. And the count is full to Tyson Gow. One good thing, bases are clear now, I guess. <laughs> if you want to look at it good that way. And there's a the pitch. Ground ball to deep short. McGuire's going to stop it, but there won't be any throw, and it'll be an infield single for Tyson Gow. So another base runner for Alexandria. And here's Jordan Gow, the shortstop, hitter number five in the order. And Gao, some would say he's had a tough night. Other people would say he's due. He's 0 for 4 tonight. And Cardinals are going to have a meeting out on the mound. And who knows what that meeting is about. Probably trying to figure out what to buy somebody for a wedding present or... You see the bus, the fans came in. One out. Big moment here. Tying run at the plate in the form of Jordan Gow. Right in hitter with power. Brett Sievertson delivers a fastball low. Ball one. Cutler holding Tyson Gow at first base. Rest of the infield at double play depth. Fastball swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. That one up above the belt line got by him. Gronoweg on deck for Alexandria here in the eighth. Fastball going to be flared down the right field line. That's going to be over by that tent out there on the right side. One ball, two strikes. Brett Sievertson's got Jordan Gow in a hole here. Sievertson comes set. Here's the pitch. Fastball going to be hit up the middle. One hopper. Nice play by Uber at second as he plays the bad hop. Might have separated his shoulder doing it as he's holding his shoulder. But he flips the ball to McGuire to force Gow out. And now let's see how Uber is. He's still down. He went right to holding that shoulder. He, he dove hard and landed on the shoulder. Wow, was that a play? He stole a hit and then got the force out at second. And it looks like he's just going to dust off his pants and be ready to go. He landed hard. He, he sold out. When you talk about somebody going 100%, that was right there. As he dives to his right, Comes up with the ball and then had the sense to flip it to McGuire and get the out at second. So Jordan Gow will reach on a fielder's choice, but there's two out now. 5-3. Alex has a run in this inning. And here's Aaron Grunewick. Wow, was that a play by Huber. Aaron Grunewick, D.H., Gronoweg one for three. Had a single. It's the only time he's got the ball out of the infield tonight. And he takes a fastball low, ball one. Here's a pitch. Swing and a miss. A fastball belt high right down the middle, and he can't find it. Durfee, dangerous Adam Durfee on deck. So I think Sievertson would like to take care of Gronoweg right here and end this inning. Fastball going to be flared foul. And it's one ball, two strikes. So Brett Sievertson. <laughs> Sievertson wanted that ball back. Give me that ball. So he gets the ball that was fouled off. Brett Sievertson has a way of getting what he wants. I don't quite understand that. But one ball, two strikes. Here's the pitch. And fastball way high. Nice catch by Patterson. Two balls, two strikes. Don't see that very often. I want that ball. Okay, you get that ball. Here's the 2-2 delivery. And it's low, and we go full. 
Don't want to walk this guy. Three balls, two strikes to Aaron Gronaweg. Here's a pitch where Brett Sievertson needs to throw a strike or close to a strike and get him to swing. Here's the pitch, and it's going to be a fastball in the outer half. Flared back out of play, and we'll do 3-2 again. And now Brett Sievertson gets the ball, and he doesn't want that ball. He wants a different ball. I think he's hoping that other ball will hurry up and get back in here. He likes that ball. Must be something wrong with that ball if he likes it. It's probably got a big gouge in it. Brett Sievertson, he's a thinker, if you know what I mean. He, he's always scheming and thinking. 3-2 pitch. Runner goes, and it's a fastball. Foul back. Gronoweg staying alive here. Good at bat for Gronoweg. He's wasted two really good pitches here back-to-back. -back. Big battle here. 5-3. Flandreau leads. Bottom of the eighth, runner goes, and there's a fastball, and it paints the outside corner, and Gronowick goes down looking. Oh, my, he started heading the first, and the catcher, Patterson, flipped the ball up in the air in joy, and that'll end. They get one run on two hits. I leave a man on. Five, three, we go to the ninth. Flandreau is one inning from the semifinals. We'll be back in one minute. Harry K. Ford is your only dealer who does $29.95 oil changes every day. Yep, that includes all the oil for the vehicle. Those other guys don't do that. As a Venture Communications customer, you're ready for tomorrow. Where you live, the world's at your fingertips through a fast and reliable fiber optic internet connection. You can choose the RushNet broadband speed you want, all the way up to a gigabit. And your own team of technical experts are ready to help 24-7. Change your world with RushNet high-speed internet. Be ready for tomorrow. Get connected. Call Venture Communications today. Your local cooperative has a new name. CHS Northern Plains and CHS Midwest Cooperative have joined together to better serve you under the new name CHS River Plains. You gain more options and more value with access to global markets in a powerful supply chain. And you can do more every day using inputs delivered by a team who knows what you need, when you need it. Visit us online at chsriverplains.com or stop in today and let us help you own every day. Maybe the big story in the game plan, the Angels have left 14 men on base tonight. They get them on, can't get them in. Flandreau keeps shutting them down. Top of the order for Flandreau in the ninth. They'd love to add some insurance runs here. And it'll be the fifth time through, with it, only the second time through against the reliever Ethan Davis. And Davis starts Patterson with a fastball away, ball one. Jake Patterson is... Two for four tonight. And here's the pitch. High fly ball, right center field. And that's going to be handled by Tyson Gow for out number one. So one away brings up Grant Heave, the right fielder. Started the game as a DH. Eventually rotated out to right field. And Grant has struggled a little bit tonight. Left-handed batter 0 for 3 from the plate, been hit by a pitch. 316 batting average for Grant Heave. Compact left-handed batter. And he goes after the first pitch and fouls that back off the catcher. One strike. He will be followed by Keith Cutler here in the ninth. For Alexandria in the ninth, it'll be the bottom three in the batting order. Durfee, Pierce, Pierce Smith, and Jared Zent. Might see some pinch hitters there. Here's the one strike delivery. Fastball fouled back off the screen. <clears throat> Two quick strikes on Grant Heap. Jed Schmidt started the ball game. The left hander threw five innings, allowing six hits and five runs. He's the pitcher of record for Alexandria. Here's the two strike delivery to Grant Heap. Fastball low. One and two now. 
Tries to get Heeb to chase one down in the dirt. Heeb just looks at it. Outfield playing pretty deep, especially Tyson Gow out right. Breeze blowing out about 10 miles an hour to left. Now it's picked up a little bit more. And there's an off-speed pitch. Low, good take by Heave. That pitch is close. Two and two. And the pitch. Fastball in on the hands. Fouled back. And we'll do two, two again. Ethan Davis with the full windup, the right-hander delivers, and there's a breaking ball, and that's strike three called on the outside corner. Kind of a backup change up there as it moved away from the batter and catches the outer half of the plate. So with Cutler strike, or with Heeb strikeout, Cutler becomes the batter, left-handed hitting first baseman. He's one for four tonight, has struck out swinging last two times up 441 batting average and he goes after a fastball in on the hands swing and a miss strike one Cutler out of the box now back in and Davis delivers and there's a change up catches the outside corner so Davis starting to change speeds a little more here in the ninth was throwing gas early, now starting to change things up against Flander. Now he's in command. Two strikes on Keith Cutler. Here's a pitch. Fastball hit right up the middle, and there's a, a single. Only way that wasn't going to be a single is if it would have hit the pitcher. And he lifted a leg and let it go by. So a two-out single for Keith Cutler, and Aiden Ladd will be the batter. Ladd, the sh third baseman, doubled. RBI double in the first inning. Since then, fielder's choice, a strikeout and a flyout. So Ladd is one for four on the night as Flander tries to play their way into Saturday evening's state semifinal against Demick Emery. Short lead at first for Cutler. There's a big breaking ball strike as Ladd took it all the way. Tim Fielding Uber is on deck. Boy, did Uber make a great fielding play last inning at second base. Here's the one strike delivery. Fastball on the hands, foul back. Two strikes. Aiden Ladd's going to have to protect the plate. <coughs> Ethan Davis gets the ball from the new ball from the umpire, rubs it up, and away we go. So two strikes on Aiden Ladd. Right-handed hitter. Always amazed how calm he looks at the plate. Just no warm-up swings, just stand there with the bat and swing and foul back to the screen. Wow, he had evil intent on that swing. Foul ball. Two strikes yet. Fastball is probably up by the chin, but he liked it, protecting. So we'll do it again. Davis working from the stretch. Sets up by the chin. Now delivers. Breaking ball. Fouled off the catcher and back to the screen. Two strikes. That one might have stung a little bit. They're going to give Michael Shopmer a minute or two here to, I don't know, what what do you call it? To get rid of the pain, I guess. Make the pain go away. <laughs> two strikes. The battle's starting to develop here between Ladd and goes after a pitch in the dirt. Gets away from the catcher, but he'll prove the strikeout throwing down to first base to end the inning. So one hit, but failed to score. 5-3, that's what Flanders got. Can they hold on and win? We're going to find out in one minute.
Are you looking to steal a deal on your next vehicle? Whether you're looking for a car, truck, or SUV, shop from over 1,000 vehicles at menholtauto.com. Menholt Auto Group is a proud supporter of the South Dakota State Baseball Tournament and would like to wish good luck to all participating players and teams. Have a great game and knock one out of the park. From Denny Menholt Rapid Chevrolet, Toyota, and Rushmore Honda. All three stores conveniently located off I-90 Exit 60, Rapid City. At Ashley Home Store, when we say we got it, we really mean it. We've got all the popular styles for every room in your home, as well as some of the highest quality and customer ratings in the industry. Not to mention, we've also got the top mattress brands like Sealy, Tempur-Pedic, and Ashley Sleep. And payroll deduction financing available so you can take time to pay. So come in today and see why your Pierre Ashley Home Store is the top choice for everything home. Hurry in. We're located on South Garfield Avenue in Pierre. This is home. Right now is a great time to be planning for the next growing season. Fall fertilizer application can give your crops a strong start in the spring. Because the nutrients available and needed in each field vary, your Agtegra agronomist can help determine your specific nutrient needs and the benefits of applying them now. To optimize your inputs for next year's crop, contact your Agtegra agronomist for details or visit agtegra.com today. So Dallas Schneiderman, who pitched the complete game victory in the second round, will come in and attempt to throw one inning here and shut down the bottom third of Alexandria's order. Adam Durfee to lead off. And he takes a fastball strike on the outer half. It'll be Durfee, Smith, Pierce Smith, and Jared Zenz, the scheduled batters. And <laughs> one strike, not one ball. Tangle of cords here as we're trying to move one of our partners out of the way. I bet you're going down trying to get some interviews post-game, aren't you? Is that what you're doing? Mitchell Paper, the home of amateur baseball. And foul off on an off-speed pitch. Durfee out in front of it. Now two balls, two strikes. Yeah, if you get a chance, read the Mitchell paper. They are king of local sports. 2-2 to Adam Durfee. Dallas Schneiderman in to finish this one off for Flandreau. And it's a changeup, and that misses just outside, and the count goes full to Adam Durfee. 382 batting average for Durfee. One for four tonight. And the right-hander. Flares one down the right field line. It's in foul territory and it's going to be an out as Cutler runs it down for out number one. and Foul out to the first baseman. One away. Pierce Smith will be the batter. Pierce the first baseman. 0 for 2 on the night of fly out and a strikeout. It's been hit by a pitch and walked this evening. Zen's on deck, and he's out there swinging the bat, ready to hit. So Schneiderman gets out number one, and Dallas delivers the right-hander, and there's a fastball, thigh-high outside corner. Schneiderman's really sharp in that second round win, and looks sharp again here in the ninth. Here's the pitch. And there's a breaking ball, and that'll cross the plate low. Count even, one ball, one strike. 5-3. Flandreau leads. They're two outs away. There's the pitch. Breaking ball. Starts at the batter, but misses inside. Didn't move enough. And it's 2-1. and one. Here's the 2-1 delivery. Fastball that's out off the plate in the dirt. Three and one. Schneiderman falls behind. Pierce Smith. How would you stay relaxed? Don't give up any base runners right here. There's a fastball right down the middle. Smith taken all the way and the count goes full. Here's the pitch right here. Action pitch three and two and Schneiderman delivers and it's a fastball. Misses away and he walks him. 
Brings the tying run to the plate in the form of Jared Zenz. And it's going to be the former Salem Cub, Chris Merrick, is going to bat. Merrick, right-handed hitter. Now i got to look up his batting average. 333. Of course, Chris could always hit. Good guy. A lot of fun back when he was on the Salem Cubs, and then life took him to the Alexandria Angels. And he's been for quite a ride with Alexandria. So one out. Tying run at the plate in the form of pinch hitter Chris Merrick. Dallas Schneider going to work from the stretch now. And the righty delivers, and there's a fastball. High, ball one. Top of the order, Peyton Smith on deck. This could get interesting yet. Here's the one ball pitch. Fastball high, 2-0. Crunch time. Schneiderman delivers. There's a fastball on the outer half. And that's a strike. Two and one. Merrick taking that all the way. Now still a hitter's count here. Two balls, one strike for Merrick. There's a fastball lifted foul. And just like that, it becomes a pitcher's count at two and two. So one out. 5-3 the score. Flandreau leads. Pierce Smith, the base runner at first, not exceptionally fast there. Chris Merrick pinch hitting for Jared Zenz here in the number nine spot. Facing a 2-2 count. Schneiderman delivers. Off-speed pitch, swing and a miss, and he gets him to chase one off the plate. The big breaking ball that starts off inside and then breaks, I don't know, three feet? <laughs> all the way to the outside and Merrick can't lay off and there's two out and Peyton Smith, his sixth plate appearance of the night, he's been hit twice he has singled he is officially one for two on the night right handed batter, 480 batting average and he looks at a fastball low, ball one Dallas Schneiderman trying to finish this one out away Dallas trying to be really fine with his control here. Just trying to, he's trying to throw the perfect pitch every pitch. You can just tell. And there's a fastball, and that is close to the perfect pitch. Knee high, outside corner. One ball, one strike. Colwin Andy on deck. Alex been in the state final seven out of the last eight years. Off speed. Breaking ball misses away, and it's two and one. That's the pitch that Merrick chased. Peyton Smith lays off it. So two and one. What? Schneiderman shakes off his catcher. Now says yes. Here's the two one pitch. Sidearm fastball, ground ball to shortstop. They'll take the short out at second, and that's it. Flandreau is going to the state semifinals as Pierce Smith is retired at second base, 6-4 on the putout, and the Flandreau Cardinals defeat the Alexandria Angels 5-3 in a really good ball game. 5-3, Flandreau now plays Dimmick Emery, Saturday at 5.30. That game will be on AM 1390 Saturday. Gives AM Joe another reason to drive to Mitchell. He'll gladly drive here to follow the Corn Belt through the state tournament. I'll be back to Cadwell Park in three minutes with a short post-game show coming up next on KJAM. 